There we go. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, oh, do you know the actual, like, act real version of the song? I was going to say, I have, a, I have a link to the song. It's uh, New Wave Station is what it is, in case you, <laughs> I'm too shy shy. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Yes, my hair. I did my, I did orange. I, I washed it last night and it, it brightened it up a little bit. It was almost red when I first dyed it. But yeah, I washed it last night. It's very, it's, it's kind of bright. <laughs> I was hoping for a little bit of a gentler orange, but here we are. Also, yes, I have some fun. You like the pumpkin lights and I got little, um, these little, uh, <laughs> what are they? <laughs> uh, cobwebs. There's one up here. Oh, 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 okay. There we go. <laughs> it's trippy. It's hard to do the thing. <laughs> it's hard to do the thing. Wait, I hope y'all are doing good today. Um, did I check? I always have to check to make sure my microphone filters are on. Sometimes they turn themselves off. Looks like they're okay. If I ever sound like my microphone filter, like you're hearing raw audio, feel free to let me know. <laughs> Feel free to let me know. <laughs> yeah, I got I got the cobwebs on um I got the cobwebs on this screen and then I have them on the actual the actual uh regular playing screen and stuff too. Yeah. <laughs> also, yeah, I hope everybody's doing good. Um also, yeah, there was a 95% Owly has 95% chance of being abducted by aliens tonight. Congratulations on your new alien baby, Owly. <laughs> maybe I should I, you know what I need to do I need a command maybe that's what the herb command should be now you should the, the herb command should be like whether you get pregnant or not <laughs> like you have this percent chance of getting pregnant <laughs> that's the so you do the see if you get abducted and then you do herb to see if you got alien pregnant 86% <laughs> okay okay I should redecorate the Smithfield house in Strange Town. I took some inspo from the seventies. Look like yours, very nice. Yeah, I love doing that style for them, especially. I'm not ready to be a parent. <laughs> it's okay. You can just um, I don't know. You can you can leave it at somebody. How about you go find a uh, somebody who's willing to take it? Maybe Glabe. Call up Glabe. Curious. She seems to like collecting green children. You can see what she she has to say. She might take it for you. <laughs> Hi, Parakeet. Yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, I like doing that. I like doing like cozy, classic little. Uh, oh yeah, Scoot, you call up Scoot. But yeah, I like classic uh sort of retro vibes for the Smiths. They're they're good. They're good. But yeah, um, I feel like there was something I wanted to say and I don't remember. As soon as I hit the live go live button, I, everything leaves my brain. So that's that. Um. I do have a quote. Would you guys like a quote? <laughs> I have a I, I have a very inspiring quote. Fine dining and breathing. <laughs> Interesting. Uh I uh so I one thing I do is it, I don't know, I kind of have mentioned it a couple times. My I take care of my grandmother during the day. She has a few different people that help her with different things, but I go every day and do some stuff for her usually it's like cleaning and helping her just do things she has like mobility issues and stuff today i had to chauffeur her to the um place where she gets her her shots for like flu and covid uh she had to get her vaccines and on her way back she gave it she gave me a very good quote she likes she says things <laughs> sometimes <laughs> she she's kind of like one of those innocent little old ladies that suddenly just starts like swearing and stuff um she was walking up her ramp i was helping her get back in the house and she let me think exactly how she said it she said well i guess i'm a tired old bitch but at least i'm not a dead old bitch <laughs> that, that's i was like you know what that's a pretty good one <laughs> <laughs> this is our quote for the day. <laughs> that was that was what that was from Grandma. <laughs> yeah, that that was Grandma's quote for the day. <laughs> Add it to the butt spot. That's just just Grandma. I could I could I could <laughs> we could uh, but <laughs> where Grandma's I don't know. She's funny because her house. I've mentioned it before that I've I was I've been like 
painting apartments in her house. She has a house that's, it's an old house that is a, it's called a tenement house, which means that it was built to have like multiple living spaces in one, essentially an apartment building. And uh, so technically she lives on the first level and then somebody else lives above her and stuff. And uh, whenever, <laughs> whenever I'm there, she'll just like say, sometimes she'll just say stuff like that. <laughs> And there's been multiple times where she, like, I'll just be, like, doing laundry, and she'll be at the table, and she has a walker that she keeps with her all the time. And all of a sudden, I'll just hear her yelling from the kitchen, Get back here, you miserable bitch! <laughs> just like, Get back here, you miserable little bitch! <laughs> She's talking to her walker. And I'm like, somebody's from above. People know that I come here to help you. People from up that are living above you are going to think that you're yelling at me. <laughs> They're going to think that that's what she's saying to me. <laughs> it's like she's just yelling at her walker because it's rolling away because the brakes don't work. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, she does it all the time. But anyway, we, we survived our adventure. And she always whenever whenever I have to drive her anywhere. Yeah, the other people are like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> and um, but. Whenever I have to drive her anywhere, I think the way that she psychs herself up to go outside, which this is also, I feel like, very relatable. <laughs> the way that she psychs herself up to get out and go, because it's such a difficult process for her to go anywhere, is she um, she always wants to have McDonald's afterwards, which I hate going through drive throughs I don't do McDonald's. I don't really do any of that stuff, because I just hate drive throughs <laughs> But whenever I take her anywhere, whenever we finish doing anything... She's like, okay, time for McDonald's. Time for McDonald's. I end up having to, I have to sit in line at the McDonald's forever. Yeah, grandmas love McDonald's. I don't know what it is, but it's like, that's her, that's her special thing. And she got a Big Mac and a big, one of those 10 piece nuggets and fries today. I had to, I had to wait. And it, they're like, the, and of course we ended up getting out of the appointment, the shot thing, the vaccines thing at like exactly noon. So there was a line out to the road for the drive through And I'm like, oh, God, here we go. <laughs> She's like, I'd like McDonald's, please. I'm like, okay. Okay, Grandma. <laughs> My grandma was like, whenever I go uh, to do to town to do stuff my reward is McDonald's. Yeah, I just I, I'd rather go home and have like a bowl of cereal. But she sits in the front. She sits in the front right next to like the passenger. So <laughs> she gets to be right up there directing where we're going <laughs> yeah she's i mean it's it's wholesome but I, she just and then she gets really excited about her coca-cola and her fries and her everything and whatever <laughs> it's fine <laughs> i survive i've gotten good at ordering at drive throughs i don't go to the drive throughs because anxiety so yeah i just there's something about the drive through that sends my anxiety off i don't know what it is i i don't know i'm like but the thing is is half the time when we go through the drive through I'm like, I could have gone in and got it at the counter and been back out by now. <laughs> but, oh well, here we are. Because she really wants to see the menu. Because that's the big thing, is she can't go in to see the menu, so we have to do the drive through Um. <laughs> I really like Toot. Poor Toot. R.I.P. to Toot. I did buy some... We, we bought some stuff from the to, old Toot and his sister run a... that used to run. You, you, toot used to run. A, uh... Apple Shack and got some really nice homemade donuts and apples. You can show her the menu on the, that's true on the app. Yeah. She might have a hard time seeing it, but I mean, she probably could figure it out. Either that, I wish they would have, they must have like a, it's almost like they need a little brochure, but they probably change things so long. Yeah. She's one of the grandmas that does it. She's in her 80s and she does not have a cell phone. She does not have a computer. She does not have. She doesn't. She has a she has a landline phone with a cord, and her TV. You know. But yeah, I could read it to her, and like show it to her. That's true. I don't know. That might be an option in the future, <laughs> depending. <laughs> also, hi Carmi. I saw you come in. Sorry, I, I'm running my mouth. And hello, Nina. Oh, butt spot. <laughs> Hell nut. <laughs> Hell nut. Okay. Uh, whenever I fly in to see my partner in the U.S., they always wait for me with In-N-Out. Oh, that's nice. 
<laughs> I've never had in and out I think that's a West Coast thing, mostly. Yeah, if the anxiety is too bad to go through the drive-thru, yeah. Most of the time, I'm, I just deal with it, because it's only, it's only when she goes out, which is just appointments, so, like, it's, like, a couple times a month, honestly. But sometimes she still asks to have stuff brought to her, but usually the McDonald's is her little treat for going out. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, it's West Coast, yeah. I've never, I've never had it. I think I've heard people who really like it, and then some people who say it's not as as good as people say it is, but I guess it depends on what you're used to. You know? But, we're all like a little treat. Oh, it kind of tastes like Five Guys. Yeah, I've never had Five Guys either. I'm not a fast food person anyway, but I've had, I mostly just have had McDonald's and Burger King, which I don't like Burger King. And then I had, uh, and then I had, uh, I've had Sonic once going through Maryland. I think it was in Maryland. I had Sonic once. <laughs> Sonic wasn't very good either. A greasy burger is the flavor. Yeah, that's, that's how I feel about McDonald's most of the time. Most of the time McDonald's is just like greased up salted cardboard. For me, <laughs> are we playing 1984 or Strange? We're playing Strange View today. That yeah, Burger King is just I don't I don't love Burger King. I just the fries aren't great, the the nuggets aren't great. Yeah, of course right now I'm not able to have all that junk because I'm trying to be careful with what I'm eating because of my stomach problems and everything. And so like I, at this point, it's easier for me just to say, oh well, <laughs> I don't like any of it. Uh-oh, did the title not update? Oh, no, I changed it. Uh-oh, wait. Oh, I didn't hit the done button. Thank you. Sorry. So sorry. I literally typed it all in and everything, and then I got distracted here. Let me... Oh, I, I still have Ichabod Spectre. I should have changed it to Herb Oldie for the, for the thing. Whoops. There we go. I, I literally I had it all typed out and everything. I just didn't update it. <laughs> yeah, what do you think the difference between burgers... Over there versus over here, are they like? I, I would imagine European burgers or, or wherever you're you're from. But when I think of like European burgers, I would imagine they're healthier <laughs> or something. Uh, they infuse them with tea. They infuse them with nut. That's too much, butt spot. That's too much. I gotta screenshot that one. I gotta save that one for the quotes. <laughs> Fuse them with nut. European are pretending to be healthy. That's what I was going to say. I was like, I feel like Europeans probably like healthy or trying to be. And then Americans just like, we don't care. We want the grease and the bacon, the secret nut. <laughs> butts, 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 butts going in, going hard today. Oh, no. <laughs> Europe likes to pretend that we have better ingredients over here. I've heard that like Europe has better food laws. Like I've heard of people who are like from the U.S. that move over there. And they eat the same, like, junk food brands, but somehow, like, they're actually, like, get healthier or, like, lose a little weight or something, like, that they are actually, it's, like, better over there uh, as far as stuff. Because I think, like, for example, chocolate, yeah, I can confirm Europe has better chocolate. So I was going to say, like, here in the States, they're allowed to put, like, some, some, like, junk in the chocolate that, like, is fake, makes it cheaper to make but they're not allowed to, it's like illegal over in europe that kind of stuff yeah i like it depends on the american chocolate i like cadbury which technically is a U U uh like a uk brand but there's actually the stuff that's sold over here that is made here i think it's unfortunately i think it's owned by hershey which usually hershey stuff is crap but Cadbury's good and then ghirardelli is good junk in the chocolate for more junk in the trunk yes <laughs> the ultimate goal. The perception that American chocolate tastes like sick. That's not so weird for me. I don't, that's not, it can be attributed to the presence of butyric acid in the American chocolate. Okay. Um, it is a compound in milk products also present in rancid butter and vomit. Yeah, I've heard something like that before. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It, it tastes like vomit. That's interesting. Yeah, I know some, I mean, I know some people who really like Hershey. But yeah, Cadbury and Dove is also a good one. There's good ones, but it's like the fancy stuff. 
the more expensive fancy stuff is where it doesn't taste gross. Oh, from Whitaker's Chocolates. Okay. We have Whitaker's Chocolates over here that they sell them. I don't know. Again, I don't know. It's hard because, like, if a brand that's technically from, like, the UK or whatever, sometimes it they make it. They have to make it over here, so you never know if there's... There might be a difference in the formula even, but... Oh, it's Gal Dove is Galaxy in the UK. Okay. Interesting. This conversation went in, in some interest. Oh, eating Lindor chocolate. Now, that was the other brand that I like is the Lindor. Yes, there's a moose on the mic. Yeah, I added him the other day. I, oh, he's been here a while. Mr. Moose. I need to... I feel like I want something different, though. Like, I need, like, a little... I'll have to keep my eye out when I go to the store or something. Get, like, a little cute guy. Just, like, a little cute dude. Ooh, a zombie. That's such a good name. Thank you for the follow. I love your name. <laughs> I like who the zombie. Yeah, what is Dove do? Is Dove... Is, are they two different Doves? They might be two different Doves. Because Dove, Dove... I mean, I think Dove Soap is owned by, like, a bigger company. Like, an even bigger company that does all kinds of stuff. I don't know exactly. Oh, you love the little Knud Futa. I'm glad you enjoy <laughs> and welcome in. Dove does chocolate over. I don't know Dove bathroom products. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, they look similar. I think it might technically be two different brands, but it's weird that they have both have just the same. My favorite vegan chocolate is Vigo and all these blonde white vegan chocolate. That's interesting. I've never really had vegan chocolate before, I don't think. Um, yeah. But anyway, I guess we'll we'll uh jump in here. I don't think there was anything else that I, I feel like we needed to um, talk, to share, to talk over. <laughs> we call Lay's Chips Walkers here in the UK. Oh. You know what? That sounds, that, that rings a bell. I think I've heard that. That, like, the name's a little different. Just look, Dove and Dove are different. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, so yeah, I hope you like my little, my little, uh, Spooky decorations, but we're going to swap over to the other screen here. Over to dish one. There we go. We are we are here in Veroniville. Um, I'd like to let's do this. We're going to this is my little tracker. We'll look at my little tracker here for just a second. Um, oops, my little I think my goal because of my my goofy potato shenanigans uh, on Tuesday. Some of my stuff might be a little off here. Let me. Like do this, I guess. There we go. I know the the autumnal vibes over here too. Yeah, we got some some interesting stuff going on. <laughs> Strange view, Ville. Yes, good old Miss Crumblebottom. Um, so I wanted to visit Veronaville because, of course, we have we have Strange Town going on. Technically, I was working through the Strange Town side of things. I think. I go back here, my little strange town. Oop, if it wants, oop, she wants to load. There we go. We were working through these. Yeah, we played the grunts, which was uh, Aaron and Buzz and Chip and Chuck. I like Chuck. <laughs> they're toming in. The, the the vibes are toming in. But uh, I, you know, we've been playing Strange Town a lot with with the early Strange Town. So I thought, well, why don't we check out Veronaville for right now? I mean, eventually we're gonna have to play through Strange Town. Um, but so I was thinking, so a couple of these, you already have the three, technically we're working on round three. Um, a couple of them already have the three here, even though we haven't gotten to Veronaville in it being part of the Uberhood. And that's just because we, I got this far through Veronaville before I decided to add it to Strange View. So I decided to just keep that as a note so that I can then kind of keep going on. So technically these houses have already been played for this sort of round, if that makes sense. Go Max also makes a good chocolate dupes of popular chocolate. Oh, like vegan ones. Oh, interesting. Ooh, I'll nut into that nut. <laughs> Butt spot. <laughs> Butt spot's doing a lot today. Butt spot. I'm going to try and save that. <laughs> Butt spot. Have mercy. But anyway, so we could play either... So this is Reagan, Cornwall, and Hector. 
or I was thinking of the Montes, Antonio, Beatrice, Benedict, and Sylvia, which is the alien baby that Antonio had. I kind of want to check out the Montes, I think. Um, he's nutting in the burgers, the nuts, what else? <laughs> Nothing will stop him. <laughs> Somebody must control him. Somebody must shut him down. I think that'll be kind of funny. He's a monster. So yeah, that's that's where we're at. I think that's what I'm thinking. Why don't I, I'll mark this as a little in-progress moment here. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> that spot needs to be quiet sometimes. <laughs> Reese's vegan version is good, but vegan Hershey is trash. Still takes like tastes like cheap Easter bunny chocolate. Yeah, I imagine that would be. I mean, yeah, I just I'm not a big fan of the regular Hershey chocolate anyway. But anyway, so I just thought I'd show that. We'll do that. Um, we're zoomed way off over here. Why don't I turn off our music also? I forgot about that. I'll turn on the in-game sound. There we go. Oh, she's a little loud. I know, Bogwater needs to come here and control their child. <laughs> I, I take insult, Hershey to Easter chocolate. I think I like Hershey's for the gimmick of it being American. Interesting. I mean, I think that's that's reasonable. You have advent calendars. Yes, they're very popular. We have all kinds of advent calendars here. It's not just chocolate ones. I don't know if you guys have like others like they in recent years, they've made like toy ones and like all kinds of other themes, like pretty much every theme you can think of. They have advent calendars for them. Um, anyway, I think this is the household we're looking for. Yes, let's go here. We have a bunch of ones too, like cheese ones. Yeah, alcoholic ones. We have the store I used to work at used to sell a, a line of like farm themed toys. <laughs> they were all like, you know, like livestock and like tractors and stuff. And they had a big advent calendar that was just like, that was just like, um, all like toy horses and toy cows and pigs. And like every day you opened up and you got like a little toy. Like that was, that was a big thing. It was expensive. But it was that was a big thing. You guys have dairy milk over there. You mean just like regular milk? Because we have like regular like like white milk. <laughs> I don't know if you mean or maybe you call it maybe it's by a different name or something. What day are we on? I gotta change. I gotta adjust the days. Oh, dairy milk chocolate. Oh yes, yeah. I think that's the main chocolate. That we have is 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 milk. They call it, we call it milk chocolate. Oh, okay, it's a chocolate brand. Oh, okay. Oh, a brand of I don't know. You know that's, that kind of sounds familiar, but a lot of a lot of the regular types of chocolate that we have, they call it their milk chocolate. So a lot of them say milk chocolate on them or dairy milk chocolate. I think I think the Cadbury package says dairy milk chocolate on it. But I, I think th I always thought that was just it explaining that, it, like that it was milk chocolate. I'm just gonna plop this guy down. Here's my little. Oops, that's not who I wanted. You're not what I wanted. I wanted. I was in the wrong section. My little sim manipulator. You change model. We got. I gotta. I always gotta make it a little flamingo. I wish I could do this a little bit more quickly and easily, but here we are. There we go. We'll change it to alter time, day of the week, Monday. Uh, I might make it a little earlier. Let's go 7 a.m. There we go. Um, looks like I've got a bunch of windows that are filled in here, which is weird. I don't remember them having that issue before. Oh no, I forgot to fix my stupid... Uh, maybe at one at one point on like a BRB, I'll go and fix my um my startup cheat. I keep forgetting to fix my startup cheat. There we go. I can just hit. I'll just do this and put it back, I guess. Yeah, I think it's the ivy, unfortunately. But I don't remember it doing that to me before. I wish it wouldn't do this. Also, thank you for the follow, wolves. I think. <laughs> I love the ivy. I don't want it to have to get rid of it. I don't remember how I had it on here, though. That's the problem. 
these, I think it's these shelves, which I could get rid of. Oh, I can undo it all. Oh, okay. So, like, if I do this... But then... Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> that's a better way to do it. Oh, well, that's not a big deal. Those can just be like that. I don't have quarter, t quarter tile on right now, so... I also can fix this, because I since have added a mod that lets me... I had an issue where my sims couldn't, like, reach these, but I have a mod that fixes that. Let me delete these, just because. Um, otherwise, I think we're pretty okay. I haven't visited this household in a hot minute, so, like, I don't know if things are goofy. But it looks okay. I think everything looks like it's survived. So that's good. Okay. We're in the Monty household. We got Antonio here, the chef. What is his level? He's level eight of the chef career, Mr. Antonio. I don't know if he has any lovers. Does I feel like I remember him having somebody. I guess not. Hmm. He's he doesn't get along with he's not happy with Puck for some reason. He's negative seven. Um Beatrice looks like you're gaining more fame. So Mr. Antonio has his twins. Oh, I guess they got a payout. Was who died? <laughs> Was one of their grandparents? Oh yes, you like my spider webs, my spooky spider webs on the screen. I like they're a little bit subtle, but they're fun. Um. Okay, they got a payout from somebody. Is it in their memories? Nicolo. That feels... Some, some doesn't feel right about that. Nicolo Lothario. Isn't that like an ancestor? That's an ancestor of like Don Lothario. That's been dead this whole time. That seems question... That doesn't seem great. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's is that... Why was he all of a sudden... <laughs> but like, why were the Montes? Is there a... What, maybe the... Yeah, didn't yeah the Nicola who's never been alive <laughs> um in this game he held back some wealth in the afterlife yeah but like that's from pleasant view you know what i mean that's weird i wonder if yeah he's don's dad yeah he's lothario but that's kind of cool because i feel like i could see don lothario being related to like that side of veronaville like monty's and like all of that like that's kind of neat in a way yeah this is an uber hood this is an uber hood that combines pleasant view strange town and veronaville yeah i don't know if it's corruption or if it's because i did do like hood checker i recently ran that relationship finder thing um i don't know we can see we'll see i don't know why we got ca we got 11 grand they hit like a thousand dollars we got like 10 grand for some reason did he get it too? He got it too. I'm, what, can I even? Can I just look at their family tree for the heck of it? I mean, he shouldn't have any connections, right? I don't know if that Isabella and Patrizio, both of which have passed away. Oh my God! Look at look at this! Look at the this is this is Bianca Monti's. <laughs> no question, the free money. That's what I was wondering. Do the kids have a connection somehow? I mean, we haven't had Veronaville in in town in connected very long. Yeah, pointing to wrong ID or something. Yeah, something's... It's probably pointing to the wrong sim, not corruption. Known Uberhood glitch. Okay, that makes sense. Like, that... Because, like, this... So, like, this Veronaville, I had played it separately on its own and then added it into this, to this like, mega hood. It was only just Strange Town and Pleasant View, and then I decided to add an existing Veronaville. I turned my Veronaville into a subhood and attached it, so it's like, obviously, something could have happened. Some sort of some some wires were crossed. <laughs> Whatever. We got free money. We got free money. Um yeah, how close are these kids? They've got a few days, four days until they could either go to college or age up. She wants to sneak out with Josiah, who's her boyfriend, whose name might have changed. Just, now here's the question. Does Josiah still exist? Because I did a massive purge of townies. I killed a bunch of townies. I don't know if Josiah still exists. I don't see him in her panel here. I think Josiah may have passed away. I spent like 
a long time just like spawning townies and killing them because I had so many. I killed her boyfriend. <laughs> her boyfriend may have passed away by my hand. Apparently this old guy didn't though. Who are you again? Joe Graham. Joe Graham survived the town apocalypse. All right. I did add a bunch of fresh townies from like, I downloaded those. They're like sub hoods that are just, just have Sims in them. And I added those to the hood. Anyway, apparently everybody's going off to work and school. So we're just going to stare at the house all day. I guess we could watch the guy. Oh, wait. Oops. <laughs> the child has been abandoned. Okay. This is the toddler. Oh, so we have a toddler and everybody just kind of abandoned her. <laughs> I mean, so this is, this is her. So because of my, uh, the cat is babysitting the toddler, apparently. Um, I do have a mod that makes it so that the nanny does not get spawned when somebody leaves. Or like they don't force call a nanny because of my, um, <laughs> yeah. So I have a mod that not only prevents the nanny from auto coming, but I also have, um, I also have the mod that doesn't, it makes it so that the, oh my god, she's so loud, makes it so that the, um, the social worker doesn't show up. <laughs> and so, and the reason I have that is because of my, uh, because of my custom hood where I've been trying to do like a more integrated thing and have sims in town watch other sims, which we could, we can spawn somebody on the lot and just control them for the time being. Maybe I'll just do that. I was going to give her like a little dog bed or something. I don't know why I was in that section. Here, let's spawn somebody. Who's going to come and watch her? And she, is she allowed to spawn? Turn spawn menu on. Spawn sim. <laughs> the toddler just sitting alone in the corner. R.I.P. Here, be gonna grab some water. Okay, get some good water. It's, oh, it's... So it's like multiple towns. Um, oh, I, I might have missed a question. How do Uber hoods work? Oh, sorry. I missed that question. Yeah, it's like you have a main hood and then essentially you can turn those hoods into what it does is it uses the um, it uses the um, like for the, the functionality from the get to work or not get to work, not get to work the business pack where you you have uh you have the other um just having blue water village yeah that they're explaining it better open for business my brain's not explaining this well but yeah it opens up that ability to have those sub hoods a shopping district yeah and it like so people have been able to use that to like make a custom shopping district but you can like put a whole town in there and then you can just attach them all essentially okay I, I, I tried to explain that. <laughs> it happened. Here, let's, let's invite a Monty over. Uh, the Veronaville Llama? Probably not. Maybe, like, maybe Mercutio? Mm, Bianca? Maybe Bianca will come over? She's got a job, though. I forget if any of the... Asaya is an adult, right? We could invite Asaya Gavigan. He's an adopted kid. He's, he was adopted by... I forget. Do you have a job, Asaya? No, you're unemployed, and he lives... I think he lives at... Still at the mansion, the Monty Mansion, or the ranch. So he's going to be our babysitter. <laughs> he's going to be our babysitter for the day, apparently. Uh, How about you... Can you come and put the child away? Hold Sylvia. Why can't I click on this? Did this get... This, what? What are you... Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting how people were able to figure that out. Okay. Well, Asaya's not doing great. He may not have been the best person to babysit, but here we are. <laughs> this kid, this kid, uh, seeing this kid's face scares me for what my future Antonio alien baby will be. Big ol' eyes, yeah. She got, she got the eyes, and she didn't even get the alien eyes, which I feel like would have made it look better. I think when they have the big alien eyes and the human, actual human eye, like iris, it makes it almost worse. <laughs> okay, can you survive and go t tend to the child? Okay, he's, he's having a rough time. He's cold. He's also cold for some reason. 
Exasperation's bad. Um, as a, a but again, as a refresher, Asaya. Of course, normally Asaya is a bin sim. I added him to the townie pool, and then he ended up getting adopted by Bianca Monti because he was just kind of wandering around. Oh. Oh, oh, the baby's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's okay. It's all right. We can wake up the baby. You wake up. Everything's okay. Just a little mess. Come on, get up. These two are kindred spirits. Maybe they are. Maybe that's where he understands. He understands. I bet. Okay, also, this is broken. Can't test. Can cancel interaction. I don't know what's happening. Okay, something's broken with our crib. I wouldn't... Why can't I... Am I not allowed to interact with the cribs? Also, the, the side is down. I don't know if that's significant. Things are being goofy. Can I just get her a... Let me tr try, like, a custom crib. I don't like how that one looks. I'll try this. Oh my god. I know, I've used dog bits so much, I can't use the crypto. Is it because he's not allowed to, like, interact or something? Oops, I don't know why I just hit that. Huh. <laughs> They're being giddy goofy. Go here. Can I do, like... Oh, him running with the child. If you're in the- if he's in the vicinity, will he, like, auto- What if I did, like, macro- is there, like, a macro take care of baby? Not really. Hmm. Is it maybe the toddler relationship? I wondered if it was, like- Here, let's play with Sylvia. I'm sure she does not want to play with us because she's exhausted. Oh, in the mirror. Yeah, she's quite a goofy looking little little character. She is our first the first alien sim born to Veronaville though, which is interesting. Okay. I wonder if it's just because he's not a resident here. She's yeah, she's gonna puke on him. You're gaining more fame. Okay. A snuggle. Talk to Sylvia. Everybody's gonna be home by the time we accomplish the ability to put the baby in the goddamn crib. <laughs> I should be able to put toddlers in cribs. I think they only can't teach them skills with low relationship. Does the toddler... Oh, maybe... I went away. Is he not a resident? Yeah, he's not. Then that's why. The, the, he, I spawned him here to watch the baby because everybody left and abandoned the baby here. What, technically, what I should have done was had, if I'd paid attention, I could have had Antonio, I could have spawned somebody over and had Antonio ask them to watch the baby, because I have that function, um, ask to watch the kids thing, and he would have been like an actual babysitter. Who is this sailor man anyway? <laughs> His name is Asaya Gavigan, which is, he's a, Asaya's uh, a bin sim that, uh, from from one of the expansions. And I probably should just get the toddler, like, a bed. Just get the toddler a little bed anyway. But, uh, he... I had added him to the bin. Uh, I mean, I added him to the townie pool. Because I... I didn't want bin sims. Tile placement on. Oh, yeah. And so, yeah, he was he was a bin sim. So, but I, yeah, he, I had added him to the, oops, I had added him to the townie pool, and then he kept just, like, showing up on lots and being really pitiful. <laughs> he was a teenager at that point, and he was just, like, always barefoot. He had, he had gotten this barefoot outfit, and he was, he was just constantly cold. I'll just give it that. That feels like a good color scheme. He was just constantly cold. And barefoot, like he was freezing, and he just wandering around places, and we just felt bad for him. So we had Bianca Monti adopt him. I should. I, I hate this coming out like that. I guess we'll do this. Can you? Can okay. She's just gonna pass out. This is miserable. <laughs> this is miserable. Okay. 
The cat and the cat and Asaya, the sailor man, are, are just staring at the passed out alien baby. <laughs> this is going good. He's laughing. Displeasured? Okay. <laughs> okay. This is going good. Things are going well. <laughs> I think I need to take a picture. Things are things are great. Things are good. This was a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> Having a Saya babysit the child is a good choice. <laughs> he, uh, the baby's just passed out in the corner while he's out here doing this. <laughs> okay, bud. Okay, bud. Yeah, the low pleasure, yeah. Russia! Russia, uh, yes, it is the face that's Martacore's profile picture. <laughs> okay, bud. He's having a blast. Okay. Asaya, you know what? You don't have he, Asaya doesn't have terrible face genes. Like he's got a decent face. Like he's okay. Hello, Morky. Nut day, everybody. Now he's gonna go spy on people. It looks like he's just. I mean, he, okay. No, he's looking kind of past this. I thought he was just staring at her. Oh, Benedict got money. Okay. I want to see who you're seeing. I want to see you think about who you're seeing. Do the Gavigans make pretty sims? That's interesting. I just don't, I don't play with the bin sims a ton. I usually, the most that I do, I tend to the, have the Otimus get involved a lot because it's easy. There's a lot of kids and you have a kid that needs a friend and, and then they grow up together and whatever. Y'all heard about the bed bud pandemic in France right now? No. <laughs> Is there actually, there's actually a bed bug ep or epidemic, not pandemic. That's interesting. He just wants to make BFFs with everybody. Okay, somebody's home from school. I'm gonna unselect him. I'm gonna make him unselectable. The, the teams are home. So that's better than nothing. Are these guys in regular? They are in regular school. I couldn't remember if they were in public or private. Oh my god. Bedbugs are nasty. Bedbugs are terrible. The more I hear about France, the less I want to visit. Yeah, I don't... France is one of those places that is very... I find to be very intimidating. Like, I feel like I always hear... I, I like, always hear not great stuff. Um, I'd like you to dispose of this, buddy. The little Benedict. We're gonna have to give these guys some attention. He wants his first kiss. I remember he wants a kiss and he doesn't... Or he wants a kiss. I don't know if he's had a first... He might have already had a first kiss. Let's see. Oh yeah, he's made out. He made out with Bottom. Oh, he kissed Bottom. He kissed... Oh, had very... Oh, his very first kiss was, a, was with Bottom Summer Dream. But she's older than him and she's already grown to adult, so they can't be together anymore. So he's got to find a new girlfriend. What are you doing? Where are you going? What are you doing? Why are you... Why do you hate the... Why do you hate... Why are you doing that? Oh, his aspiration's bad. Okay. Okay, buddy. He just killed the cacti. Okay, good job. Is he just- he's just- he's just- he's just going in. <laughs> yeah, the bedbugs are immune to insecticide and are multiplying and people found them on public transport seats and hotels. Ugh. I don't know, I'm lucky with uh, pretty kids from Asaya only because his second half is super pretty. Oh, okay. The fashion week was in Paris recently, and people all over are traveling back, and they're bringing bedbugs. Oh, no. It's gonna spread bad. Okay, he's just he's just going nuts. Yeah, when I think of bedbugs, I think of, like, a nasty motel. And it's so easy to accidentally... Who is... This? Wait, oh, we brought a friend home. Elvis Sterling. Elvis has a face. This is one of the new townies. I don't remember what Benedict's gender preference is either. I think one of these objects is, here we go. Sim settings or gender preference. Uh, Benedict, okay, he's straight. Beatrice is straight, okay. Although he's low straight. I don't know what that means exactly. Maybe this should be, is Elvis her new boyfriend? Is her new boyfriend Elvis? They got chemistry. Can we talk? Let's, like, hang out. Hang out with Elvis. I read a book, a whole hundred-page page bool. Wow. A bool? 
<laughs> butt spot. You woke up butt spot. <laughs> I'm like a flea in the nut. <laughs> you know what? That's that's the new quote of the day. <laughs> I'm like a flea in the nut. <laughs> I know, right? They're in London now too. I'm so scad nut. People will nut them to the nuttles. I don't know what's happening. I sat down and finished a book with my eyes. I'm glad that sounds that sounds great. Honestly, I I haven't read. I haven't been up to reading as much. I would like to. Also, hello, Bogwater. Welcome. <laughs> your your child butt spot has been on a rampage. Just so you know, he needs to be t spoken to. And we're to deal with bed bugs. Are they like fleas in your sheets? Kind of. They like come out and bite you at night and stuff. I've never had them either, but from what I've seen, like, they leave, you can, like, there's, like, like, I've seen before that if you go to, like, a motel and you look at the mattress and there's, like, flecking on the mattress, that's how you can tell if they're there. Um, stuff like that, but they can come out and, like, you get, like, little bites on you and stuff. Come out, I gotta clean up your mess, cat. I'm waiting for- oh, there's a father home? Okay. I was waiting for him to come home, and then I think I might have the teenagers maybe- Maybe they could all go out, even though she's got her friend here. Maybe we should just take Benedict out. Maybe we'll do that. We can have Benedict go for a walk. See, I keep wanting to say Benedict, like a T, but he's literally Benedict. That's literally his name, is Benedict. <laughs> Which is kind of an unfortunate name. Um, let's see. I'm gonna have you walk to lot, community lot. Let's go. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Um, how many stays in Veronaville? Where we go? This place is like a little hangout spot. We can also go some other places. Benedict Crumble Snatch. Emphasis. <laughs> I have a butt ton of books. I told myself I've read. So far, I've read two and a half. That's good. Yeah, I have a, quite a few that I. I have, like, two that I got, like, almost all the way through, and I just hated how they were going and cannot bring myself to read them because I just don't like them. Do not bring fleas out of the UK. <laughs> okay, good. I'll make sure to remember. I have a butt ton of... Oh, I already read that. If they're in mattress seams and their droppings looks like rust red or something, yeah, I think so, because they, they live off of blood, so, like, their poop is blood. Kinda. <laughs> Fleas are also awful, yes. I've had times where, like, people I've known who've had issues with having too many animals. Like, I had uh, a friend who, like, her family had some issues and, like, it was, like, back in middle school. And if you were to go over to their house or their trailer, it was, like, you walked in and you could feel fleas jumping on your legs. It was awful. I bought three for my upcoming 24-hour flight. I hope they are going to be good. Yeah, that, that's the hardest part for me. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were talking about bed bugs. You bought three bed bugs. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a mini cage. Hope they'll be good. Hope they'll behave for the flight. All right, we got to find a girlfriend. We're on the prowl for a girlfriend. You're... Lankin P Pincini. Nope. Okay, we're going to watch the... Watch this guy. Okay, I've not seen him get scared by that was kind of uh, Okay, that was kind of funny. <laughs> I've not seen them really get scared by it yet. Okay, this is a so far this is a boys club. I need I need some girlies. We got Lank. Oh, uh, Bo, why does Bo Wait, this is Bo Broke. Why does Bo Broke have these twists? Why does Bo Broke have twists? Yeah, that was a good scream. Look at Bo- I think Bo Broke's going through something. I think somebody needs to talk to Bo Broke. <laughs> I think somebody needs to speak with Bo. I, I don't- he's got spots all on his face. <laughs> Bo, are you okay? He's in Verona- why are you in Veronaville? What is going on? Oh, here's a girly. Oh, this is Betty Broke. Oh, wait, a pleasant view- is she about to walk through this wall? She is, she's, oh, there's a, okay. <laughs> I was like, what is going on? Let's greet Betty. Get off, this. why are you sleeping on the bench? Oh, you're, you're like slightly tired. Get off the bench. OMG. I assume the human statue is not a 
safe NPC to add to your family. I don't think so. I don't know. Halfway through the third book, it's a feminist manifesto. I do not like it. The back and review is really exaggerated what this, what this lady says. Interesting. A work went on holiday in a hot climate and wanted to show off his school friends. Yeah. It's totally not problematic. <laughs> One of the reviews called her an extremist man-hater. She's straight up saying, don't invite strange men into your house. That's a bad idea. Oh my god. Also, why are we... Who is this girly? Hello? Arabella Dorling? Her name is Dorling. We're just dancing with her? Why does her face look like it's not really there? Like, her face looks like frozen or something. Maybe it's her hair? Her hair's kind of kooky. Her outfit is a lot, too. Yeah, she's cute. Oh, we have, uh, let's greet. Like, we haven't even greeted. She just walked up and started to dance. We're just, we're just dancing in the, in the fancy clothing store. <laughs> yeah, it's an outfit. I kind of want to give her a, if, if we end up getting to know her, we could give her a little makeover. Flirt, talk, chat. Let's, let's get to know her. He needs a new girlfriend. His other girlfriend grew up. Oh, he wants to be friends with Elvis. I hate her. I'm officially used to Calicundia, you know. Calicundia is the superior. Calicundia is true beauty. Calicundian beauty is true beauty. I've been living off of ginger ale. I'm not. I've, I've stopped drinking coffee because I just can't. Now I'm just... Uh-oh. Also, what just happened? He did not like our... Uh, she just left. Is she leaving? Oh, no. She's leaving. Really need a Calicundia magazine. <laughs> Back to the Coke Zeros. See, I'm afraid... I'm not a soda drinker, but be because ginger ale helps my stomach feel good. It's like... I've, I've had to... Please don't do this to me. Uh oh, Daydreamer's already done the Wikipedia. <laughs> now, now, now we're gonna go down the road of. <laughs> okay, he thinks Betty's hot. Okay. See if we can hang out with Betty. We just we need to he, look at him just staring, in this like dark room. Let's get the ceiling up. Where's the ceiling? Is there not a ceiling? It's like dark in here. He's just watching. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Top 10 hottest Calicundia residents. <laughs> oh, also, I forgot this was the other thing I was going to share. And oh, ginseng is an ingredient that makes energy energy drinks energy-ish. You can have ginseng tea instead of coffee. Oh, that sounds interesting. I could maybe try that. This one lady who just slurps the damn things and it looks hellish. Ugh. Vanilla Coke Zero. I don't I don't get into the Coke very much. I sounded <laughs> I mean I guess it's good. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. I Coke soda and also the Coke. <laughs> neither of which I tend to partake. <laughs> Not, neither one. <laughs> oh my god. Also, I got distracted. Um, oh, why is Bo, Bo is actually going through it? He just poked this random girly. Look at this. She's so, look at, she's kind of just like a little cutie and Kira Lee. And he's just poking her. Why is he, I don't know, Bo's going through something. No coke for me. I do not like coke. All variants. <laughs> I'm just not a fan. The only soda I can go for is like, like actual soda besides like ginger ale, which like has a purpose for me. But if I just want soda to have soda, it's like orange soda or grape soda. She has better hair than him, yes. That's exactly it. Look at this- look at this wannabe! Wait, why is- oh my god, this- this- Is this kid okay? This kid looks like- this kid looks like- like the- the- what we imagine like a frail Victorian child on his deathbed to look like. <laughs> E.T. phone home. <laughs> like, <laughs> Pepsi is good. I like Pepsi. Dr. Pepper Sprite. I'm not a big fan. I've never really gotten into Dr. Pepper. But, yeah. I, I don't mind Pepsi. I'm just not, I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. 
I have some Sprite here that I had, but I'm not crazy about it either. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet coded. All right, it's getting late. I guess we'll go home. I kind of, we got two bolts with this one, with Betty, and two bolts with the other girly. I like the idea of the crossover of playables, right? Like, I feel like I'd prefer a playables crossover here. I'm just going to click this. And have you go home. Oh, who's that? Montana Griffiths. Montana's going at it with Miss Crumplebottom in the distance, just knitting. She's going hard on the knitting. I like the peach iced tea for non-soda drinks. Ooh, that's... Yeah, an iced tea is good. I do like a nice iced tea. Um, also, I need to... I keep getting, like, distracted from saying this. I did add... So, last stream, I had talked about how I had a couple of new alerts. And I knew that they were not going to be, like, seen very often because they're not, like, very common. One was the tip alert and the other was the bit alert. And I decided that I wanted them to be used a little bit more. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Look at the yolk! <laughs> Tell me. I... Ooh! I said up to you! <laughs> Who's that? Uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> you like my I when I realized that 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 I was just said vine that that TikTok reminded me so much of of um Calicundia. I laughed so hard watching it over and over. And I was like, okay, now I have to make a Calicundia themed machinima to this TikTok. TikTok, TikTok, oil, olive oil. Did it show up correctly? Hopefully, it showed up right. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I hate that. Take it back. <laughs> that was the spooky one. <laughs> that was the spooky one. <laughs> I was afraid and I nut right. <laughs> you were so scared that you nut. <laughs> I'm calling the police. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> so those are the two new ones. I have them set to higher prices and limited redeems. I'm very uncomfortable with the energy that <laughs> so, we created in the studio. Just a, something to note. Oh my god, what are these pop-ups? Oh, so we got one. Sylvia gonna grow up tomorrow. And then a few days. Okay. So Benedict is still off the lot. We're here with, with Beatrice. This might be a new boyfriend. Let's try and make some more connections here. Admire. Are we friends with him yet? Yeah, we are friends. We got two bolts. Man, it doesn't just because they got a boyfriend doesn't mean it's gonna be who she's gonna marry, right? They can just be fooling around. They can just be fooling around. Are they? They are still the same notifications for the bit notifications. I'd like to make more. I'd like to find more, maybe uh, fo more uh, ones using funny sounds and stuff, and try to make like Sims little little mini machinimas. Uh, but for now, they're the same. I just figured those ones don't show up as much, and I understand why. Oh, a crush has happened. That was a quick crush. Okay. Oh, she's literally about to be mean to him. Why are you... It's because she's, she's having a bad time. She wants a new family member. What does that mean? How does... How do I... How do I have a... Tot have a baby adopt a... Sim what if she calls... What if she's, like... She's just so desperate for family that she, like... Can the teenagers adopt a baby? Can the teen teenagers actually adopt a child over the phone? That would be so funny if... I don't think so. That'd be funny if she could. She's just, like, desperate, so she calls... She calls for a... Oops, not shoe. I was gonna see if... I think we need... To try and... Be nicer to this person. Um, play tickle. I could always nut nut one of Bianca's. Yeah, she could steal one of Bianca's. She could. That's true. <laughs> also, I have to run ads. I'm very sorry. We're gonna run ads. We're just gonna be doing our thing for the night here. Uh, I'll try not to do anything important. We'll, we'll have to try and decide how we're gonna add a new family member.
He wants uh, someone else to have a baby, like parents, uncle, etc. Yeah. So that's the hard. Like, how am I? Because this is these are some hard. I guess I gotta work on her being BFFs. Who, who's else? Who's gonna get married that she's related to? I don't really know. Oh, okay. Also, why is it so dark in here? Can we turn on this light? I guess I could have done turn on this room. That's true, and oh, that's- wait, duh! Antonio needs a wifey. That's what she- she wants a new stepmom. That's how we could read it. We could read it as Antonio- Antonio needs a wifey, or- or who- I don't- also- Gavin's still here, or Asai is still here. He's been just sitting here this whole time. Oh, now you get up. Okay, sure, buddy. Sure. Let me turn on the room. We got a lot of lights that need to come on. Um, what was I gonna do? Have you water some of these plants? Oh, I was gonna check what his preference is. Gender preference, Antonio. He's straight. I keep calling him Gavin <laughs> or Gavigan or whatever. He's just he is going through it right now. He's really going through it. Maybe he needs to join the family. <laughs> Maybe he needs it. I don't know that there's like anybody, you know, what if we did a, what if we did a matchmaker situation? What if we called the matchmaker? I feel like he's the type that might not know how to mingle anymore at this age and is just going to pay somebody to find him someone, <laughs> you know, I feel like that could work. Maybe not tonight. Maybe we'll think about it. He's got to work. Oh, he doesn't have to work tomorrow. <laughs> the shading in the flower bed at night is eerie. Because the matchmaker... Okay, he needs creativity skill, actually. Asai, Asai is just sitting here booing. Okay, I'd like you to maybe get up. Can we can we try and flirt with our, with our new boyfriend? See how it goes? And I'm going to have you come and actually practice. Oh, wait. I want you to put this on. Wear the thinking cap. There you go. And practice. There we go. Asaya, if you steal that... Oh, this did not go well. Elvis has boundaries and she is pushing them. She's pushing Elvis's boundaries. Okay. Did somebody just run by? Somebody... Oh, somebody must be working out. Some random... Oh, here's... Oh, Benedict came back. Benedict's finally back. Here, why don't I just do these two? We'll do like a macro, macro socialized romantic. Look <laughs> at this scene with him just with his silly little hat. Yeah, I know Elvis has quite a fun little shape. I think it's this shirt that adds to it. Cause he's even got like a little back bump going. He's a fun little, he's got a fun little shape. Oh no, <laughs> Asaya. This is, ugh, we have teddy bears everywhere in here. I'm just gonna delete them. I always add them in thinking they're they're nice to have, and then I regret. And then I regret. Okay, now you're back. What are you doing? I, oh, can you not paint? I don't think you can paint at this angle. Are you happy? You want to practice painting? Oh, he wait. He also wants a new family member. Both of the kids want their dad to get a a a, a wifey. That's what's happening. That's that's. I think that's what needs to happen. Is that he? They they want a step parent, but they're they're getting so close to aging up. We're gonna have to do this quick. We've got three days. You have three days to get a new wife, Antonio. <laughs> oh, is there a CC easel you can paint on an angle? That's useful. That'd be nice. Wifey speed run. Yeah, I think tomorrow we'll call the matchmaker. We'll see who the matchmaker gives us. Maybe the, the, our challenge, this is the wifey speed run. That's what this, our challenge is, have a wife. And we're required to keep whoever they give us. <laughs> whoever the matchmaker gives us is who we have to marry. Which we got a bunch of money from uh, old great-great-uncle Niccolo Lothario. So, 
So I guess we could we could give her all our money and get a good wifey. <laughs> it's like Animal Crossing villager hopping challenge all over again. I don't know if I know exactly what that one was. Did he get his skill point yet? Not yet. You're supposed to be getting them faster, buddy. Look at them faster. Okay, they're... Why are these two just sitting here talking about ladies' shoes? Like, little high heel shoes. Why are we talking about shoes? And makeup. Maybe Elvis... Maybe Elvis is into fashion. I mean, that's obviously... I think that's why he's talking about that. Elvis is a fashion guy. I just mean to use the tickets and challenge yourself to... Oh, yes. Or picking a random number and taking them. Yes, I remember doing that. I've done that before. Like, sometimes I would do, like... I have 10. I can either find somebody within the 10 if I don't the last ticket I have to take. End of story. <laughs> Something like that. Also, how is this baby doing? Is, oh. This cat's just staring at the baby. I think the cat is concerned of the baby. I think the cat is concerned. I actually opened up Animal Crossing for the first time in a while. Um, since over the summer. Because I got into it a little bit over the summer. And then I dropped it. But I opened it up yesterday. It doesn't show up on stream. Oh. Really? Oh, yeah. See, I was having an issue here. Let me try and refresh. My, my internet was having some weird issues. And I had to refresh a bunch of stuff. Let me find chat and refresh. Okay, it might... It's, yeah, it's going to remove it, but I don't know. Let me see if that worked. Oh, there we go. I had to refresh it. There we go. Yay! <laughs> Little V! Little V! Okay, I think we might need a maid in this household or something. Um, you're gonna go back to painting. I think I would rather have somebody make dinner. Have you still not got the skill point? Oh, no, you got it. Okay. Okay, get up. I'm gonna turn on all lights because I'm tired of it being dark in this house. Let's serve dinner. He's a chef, so he can make some good stuff. Even though he's actually not max cooking yet, which is interesting. It's not quite there. All right, we got some kitty food. Some kitty kibble. I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get some nummies. I'm gonna get some turkey. What are you doing? Oh, that's right. They're probably not even very hungry because they're sitting here. That's why they're sitting here drinking tea because they're hungry. Oh, you're, you're watching. How you doing, Asaya? See, he, he does have some, I feel like he's got a good, like, little nose. I don't know. Oh, he was disgusted by that. Oh, that, that was... Okay. He liked that. <laughs> Interesting. Alright. Oh, excuse me. Antonio, finish the... Finish the turkey faster, please. Your little helmet is supposed to make you do things. Look at everything's filthy. This how this is filthy. Oh my god, you're gonna have to hire a maid, Antonio. It's I just realized it's 2 a.m. in this house. I didn't even know it. He's serving turkey at 2 a.m. with this helmet on, with this with his light bulb helmet. Okay, come eat. Come eat. Oh, now you're not even gonna get to. I do like call meal guests and everybody will come and eat there we go look at we're having a nice little family dinner at 2 47 a.m like normal people do you know oh. for a second i thought he stole but he didn't <laughs> Yeah, I guess we gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta do wifey speed run. I don't know. I'm scared. I don't know what the I don't know what the what kind of woman is is Antonio into? That's the question. Like, what is Antonio's type of lady? 
I don't know. Oh, you're really tired. Here, come on up here. Where's your bed? Come up here and sleep. You come up here and sleep. They haven't done their homework at all, which is not great. Oh, there's bills up here that need to be paid. Okay, I'm gonna have you pay all the bills. Pay all bills. And then you can go to sleep. And, uh, the baby... Maybe I'll have the baby sleep in this bed. You get up. I've kind of just been ignoring that. I've been pretending the baby doesn't exist. The baby doesn't want to wake up. The baby seems to be struggling. Oh, I forgot the baby knows how to walk and stuff. I have some weird lighting issues with these pajamas. Maybe I need like a default or something to just get rid of it. <laughs> I know the baby's just been there the whole time. There we go. Now you're going to be comfortable. Oh. Or, or not. Okay, you don't want to be in the comfy dog bed? Why? <gasps> what? Oh, I thought, you were I thought she was aging up. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> Something's... I think the baby is cursed. Okay, here. You know what, Antonio? Just a sec. Change the diaper. She's also hungry. <laughs> It looks very comfy. I think it looks like it would be a nice little, little cozy place for her to sleep. Okay, put Sylvia down. Sleep in pajamas. There we go. Everybody can sleep. You sleep in your little dog bed, Sylvia. He's gonna... Oh, I forgot. Oh, I, I meant to have him take off this hat, but you know what? You can keep it on, I guess. Also, this cat is just kind of always here watching and staring. What is the personality? Friendly, cowardly, doofus. Okay. Wondered if it was like independent. All right, everybody's gonna sleep. Why don't I save real quick? And then tomorrow we'll hire a maid. Yeah, no thoughts head empty, I guess. He's just kind of a, a very a kind cat, but not a very smart cat. That's true. Isn't that all of them? Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Okie dokie. Hiya, Beatific. Or B. How are you doing? Who is this dog? This dog looks kind of creepy. I guess it's just a regular Blaine dog. Blaine? Blaine. Basic and plain. Blaine. Rover the Blaine dog. Rover is the most Blaine. Rover is the most Blaine. Beatrice. Everybody's gonna wake up before school. Hopefully. Okay, why don't I have him get up now that we get the message about an hour? Till school. Oh, there is a little potty in, in this room. So I'll have to try and maybe potty train the baby a little bit. Use this. Take a shower. Everybody's up and at him. Except for this guy. Should he... Sh now here's the question. Should he leave his light bulb hat on for the date? Do you think the date would be impressed? Do you think a, a real woman... I think I think Antonio would feel that a real woman would be impressed by the light bulb hat. <laughs> I feel like that's, you know, a possibility. Maybe that's how he vets his, his ladies. Is that they have to be... <laughs> if it's true love, they'll accept it. The light bulb cap is definitely necessary for a good date. Yeah, they've got to understand. If they don't understand, that's their fault. Who's who am I hearing? Oh, it was Benedict reacting to the trash. Who kicked over our trash? Maybe it was that dog. Okay, I'm gonna have him call service and hire a maid. People do some weird stuff with light bulbs. Well, you know, like why it's such a thin, fragile glass. Yeah, I, uh, 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 uh. 
Doesn't it have some side effects if you lay down all the time? I don't know. Probably. Probably if you try to skill while your aspiration's low. Um, that's probably an issue. He does want to get to level 9 cooking. Let's test it. <laughs> we'll have to leave it on. Sir, I'd like to leave it on, please. I'd like to leave it on, please. Okay, they went to school. The baby... Oh, we gotta get this baby some food in a minute. There we go. This baby ain't going nowhere. <laughs> There we go. This gorilla glued. Yeah, he glued it on. <laughs> I mean, he is a knowledge sim, so like maybe he's like a little bit unhinged with the inventions and the things and the stuff. Who knows? I don't know what the traits situation is. <gasps> Wait, they don't have any traits. Oh, I forgot. I haven't gotten to give any of these guys traits. We gotta add, we gotta give traits. A lot of these sims I haven't given them yet, or maybe they lost them. Either way, we're gonna give them some new ones. We got to bake Alaska, though. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Braddy Fool. For a second, I thought I had a cracked screen. Oh, the, the, the cobweb. Oh, no. Oh, uh, we're going to hire a maid. Add missing traits to... I guess we got to wait for the others to get back on the lot. Yeah, sure. I think I need a new, like, defaulted mod... Uh, not mod. Maid hair. Because I don't love the default made hair, especially the blonde. It's just like an ugly blonde shade. Teach toddler skills with the smart milk and the light bulb hat, then the toddler learns super quick. You mean the toddler wearing the hat? Or the bait? The Can the toddler wear the hat? Maybe I need to get the smart milk also. <gasps> Wait! Antonio got evil. He got lucky, neurotic, daredevil. Charismatic and evil. A piss yellow blonde. Yes. Yes. Okay, the adult teaching wears... Okay. Interesting. I'll have to try that. He's evil. What did you get? <gasps> she got neurotic and evil. What of, of, of his two traits that she could have got, of all of these traits, <laughs> she got neurotic and evil. He loved his food is delightfully de devilish. Yes, deviled eggs. Yes. He likes to he likes to put as much he his his version of being evil is he puts as much. No wonder she sits in a corner all day. This poor child. Poor child. He he uh I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh he 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 likes to add as much cholesterol to everybody's meals as possible. I'd like to pick this up, please. That's how he does evil stuff. I just want to do that, and then I'm going to get the little smart milk. There we go. Um, we have enough. I feel like we need more counter space. I might delete this just so we have the usable counter space. Oops. Oh, I see. I wish these would fit a little bit better. Can I do this? No. Okay, we're just going to do this, because I don't feel like dealing with it. I probably could figure out a way to make it work, but... Let's make smart milk. I think he's safe. Can you not make it? Why can't you make it? Sir? He's having some issues. Oh, Miss Peas. <gasps> his wig got snatched. <laughs> his wig got snatched. I reset him and his little wig got snatched. <laughs> he snatched his wig. Oh, he put it on real quick. Okay. I need you to wear the thinking cap again, sir. There you go, bud. Why can't we do this? Why? Is there something wrong? Is that a side effect of the cap? Maybe? Let me take off thinking cap. Put it on. Oh. After some reading, the Sim fandom says this. The thinking cap is good for 24 hours. The Sim in Golden Platinum puts it on and continues to work, even if the Sim drops into the green aspirational area. But if the Sim is green or red, it puts it on. The hat sputters. Sim will pass out and lose a skill point. Oh, okay. So it kind of just stays on. Okay, also, that didn't work, did it? 
Is it because Sylvia's asleep? No, Sylvia's... Oh, she's like here. Here, let's just pick her up. Let's have him come up here. Maybe it's because she can't get off the bed or something? It's like she's trying to do stuff and she can't get off the bed. Okay, she's stuck. <laughs> this is a mess. Let's just delete this. Maybe I'll get our crib back. Here, we'll, we'll deal with that in a little bit. I think it was her that was causing him to not be able to. Am I allowed to give the maid a different haircut? Like, if I do Gussie up? I just really don't like the shade of blonde. Ooh, it might work. I might crash my game, though, too. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Because I have a thing that I thought makes so the maids have their regular hair. Instead of having, like, their um default hair i don't know also hi priority and hello sim salutation how are you doing yeah the little maid tiara is so much especially since my default replaces it with this like normal outfit what should she have she could have like a little bun what is this is that, is that fancy that's kind of a lot but she could have like a little she could have a little uh bandana She's got like a little smirk. <laughs> I like her little smirk. <laughs> I'm playing. This is the, um, we can do a little twist. This is the, uh, are you ignoring me or something? Oh, okay. That I didn't see your message. So no, sorry. I wasn't ignoring you. There's a lot of messages in chat. Uh, I can look at your message in a sec. Um, and we're playing the Monty household in, uh, Veronaville in my strange view uberhood. So it's kind of it's pretty neat. Does your strange view have all the three base game hoods, or only Pleasant View and Strange Town? It has all three. It has um, yeah, Strange Town, Pleasant View, Strange Town, and Veronaville. I looked into the mod you have. I think this is a small mod that allows for female maids to spawn with random hairstyle. Existing maids will keep. Oh, okay. So existing doesn't work for already ones. Okay, thank you. So I I might have to if I wanted to I could delete my maids. <laughs> that sounds mean. I'll give her these twists. I like these little buns. Oop, oop, oop. No, it didn't work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, she's she's still got the hair. Okay. We'll go. We'll go pick it up. She shouldn't be ignoring though. I wasn't ignoring. I didn't see your message. <laughs> and. and Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a matter of messages go by fast, and sometimes I don't see them. And not every message is entitled to a response because of that, I guess, is the sort of the bottom line. Hi, kerosene! Somehow my alert got turned off. Oh, no! Uh, I'm not gonna save right now. Um, um, I think it's gonna read out your message actually. Tara underscore seem just subscribed. Hi all Sammy's 73 can you twiggle somehow can you my twiggle? got turned off. Happy to be here. <laughs> How are you feeling, Sam? <laughs> Thank you, Brian, for the for the update. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Let's make smart milk. There we go, it worked. Okay, good. Um I'm feeling better. I'm feeling a lot better. And, uh, it's alright. You know what, Amanda, right now, we can just drop it. It's fine. Um, we were, j we were just responding to what you had, what you had said, so. Uh, and explaining the situation. Just how, just how chat works. But, uh, yeah, I am feeling better. Um, I, okay, baby needs to come eat. Drink this. The, uh, I've been trying to... I've been trying to, uh, be, I was talking about it earlier, I have to, I can't, I've been, like, trying to eat a little better as far as, like, trying to stay away from, uh, trying to stay away from foods that I know trigger my stomach issues, which can be hard, it can be hard to change your eating habits overnight, and I mess up every once in a while, but now that I've been more, the, uh, I've been a lot more, uh, 
strict with it <laughs> and trying to stick with it, I feel a lot better right now. It's not this. It's not solving the issue. I still have to get it solved, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So I've been feeling a lot better. Yeah, it's best just to move on. I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, it, first of all, it wasn't. There wasn't anybody ignoring you on purpose. Um, but I mean, if you keep going on, we're, we'll just do a ban because this is. I mean, we don't need to just keep going. It's been a long time since I've been able to join. Yeah, I was just thinking. I haven't seen your your name in a minute. Um, <laughs> I think Stay Dreamer, yeah, I don't know. I feel bad, because I know that they were in chat a while, but maybe they just... I don't know. Yeah, this is very much not the energy I was expecting to come into. Also, thank you for, for my hair. I just, yeah, I dyed it on Friday? No, Monday. Maybe it was Monday I dyed it. Yeah, people have bad days. It is what it is. I don't know. I think sometimes people also get a little... I don't know... I don't know. I don't know if the word is entitled to attention from from streamer. <laughs> just because, like, I don't know. It's whatever. We can just forget about it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> hello, Crystal Beth. Also. <laughs> yeah, parasocial relationship. Something. Yeah. Also, hi, Melanoob. <laughs> hello. Hello, everyone. You're stinky. We gotta have you take a shower, and then we're gonna call. It's already it's already almost two p.m. on sim time here. We gotta we gotta have you call the matchmaker. We gotta do a wifey speed run. That's our current our current goal is speed run wifey. <laughs> Back to regular scheduled programming. <laughs> Back to the the scheduled programming. <laughs> I was gonna bump their message too, since it was a question. I uh. I got up to doing something and forgot. Oh, that's okay. Oof. <laughs> Thank you for the oof. oof. I said up to you. Oh, flu. <laughs> oof. Okay, so the children are sick, which is not great. There's a flu spreading around my strange view. <laughs> Ew, what is this video? Are you hating my machinima? Are you hating my, my, my homemade, my homebrew machinima? <laughs> Uh, people need so much attention on Twitch. I'm a mod in two channels. It's difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was what I made out of a stupid TikTok that I thought was funny because of... It reminded me of Calicundia. The original TikTok I shared on Discord in the Calicundia section. And it just made me think so much of how we talk about the Calicundia Sims. <laughs> so I had to do something with it. We're going to call the matchmaking service. Hopefully I don't have her... Is this a visitor controller? Yes, come see. Hopefully I don't have her banned or anything. No, she's not banned, so she'll show up. <laughs> that was new. Yeah, I have two new ones. There's two new ones. There's the, the oof, and then there's the most beautiful creation, which is the best one, of course. Um, also, I miss... I'm glad you're okay, Sam, but hope that you can uh, get the help you need. I remember you said you were on several waiting lists to be seen. Yeah, I like right now, I, I, I did get set up with a like i've i've gotten into a doctor's office but i have to also i didn't train the baby either the baby's just sleeping down here oh not grow up oh no are those layering oh no not olive oil behind it <laughs> i didn't think that they would go on top of each other like that <laughs> that's the the most beautiful creation I know, that's, I hate that music. It's stupid, but it's it's funny. <laughs> we should play all at once. Oh, God, no. I wanted to train the baby. Can the baby be trained at all? He's, I'm going to bump the energy, because, like, all this baby does... Here, we're going to do this. I'm being a cheater. I'm going to try and hold. <laughs> we got to cleanse. we got to cleanse with Nancy. Nancy's our cleansing. Okay. I'd also like... Okay, the lady's here. Here we go. I also can't figure out how to fix the strange town, uh, the, the vi downtown vibes. <laughs> oh my god, these guys need to stop stomping on things. 
Are they- what is going on? Are they just- what are the bugs- look at these bugs running all over! They're just running everywhere! Oh my god. Everybody's gonna get sick! I nut downtown vibes. <laughs> the French bed bugs. It's the French- you're right, it's the French bed bugs! Okay. Oh my god, this- our- our- our matchmaker's name is Knight Moore. Like, Knight, N-I-G-H-T-T, and then M-O-O-R-E, Knight Moore. Um, I want him to call over Betty Broke. Invite over. <laughs> Nightmare. <laughs> Burglar. <laughs> Buttspot, I don't know. I'm so glad Buttspot is still here. Buttspot's going strong. Buttspot's going strong. The Dark Knight. Okay, are we not talking to the lady? Oh my god. I'm I'm very all over the place right now. I feel like my sims are not in my control. Nightmore. Knight <laughs> Knightmore. <laughs> Behold my my gigantic canut. Oh, 850 by 59. One day I'm going to I'm going to be a troll and I'm just going to change it so that the only numbers you can get are like 3 and 2. So you, all of your nuts are going to be tiny. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ask for blind date. Micro nut. <laughs> okay. Uh he is straight, so we'll do female. We're going to get we're going to go full blast. We're gonna do all of it. Nine percent romantic and fertile. Oh, Nina said no thanks. <laughs> I seriously bumped that song in my car. I know all the simlish words. That's funny. I like that though. Please don't be a hula zombie. Oh my god. <gasps> Imagine. So that's the thing. I have a bunch of new townies, but it also might be an NPC. So let's see. Oh god. This is okay. The beginning of the wifey speed run starts now. Both of his kids have a want to have a new family member, and he's decided to get an, a, a new wifey, but it needs to happen quick. It needs to happen quick. Okay, she looks like she could be normal. Is it a dormy, though? I hope she's not a dormy. Wait. <laughs> it's Nina. Why does Nina. It's Nina Caliente! Why does she have black hair? She's wearing a wig. <laughs> oh. Nina, what did you do to your hair? It's Nina Caliente. I was like, wait a minute, that she looks like Nina. <laughs> okay. Nina's got a wig on. She's like pretending to she's like, I'm gonna go catch me a Verona Villian boy. <laughs> I gotta put on this dark wig. Okay. Not her punching, ma'am. What does Nina want? Oh god. <laughs> Nina's locked in one is flirt with Herb. <laughs> flirt with Herb Oldy. Maybe this is the maybe we could are we gonna secure Nina Nina I almost said Nina Goth. Nina Caliente? She was cosplaying as Bella for Dodd's weird cake, not this. <laughs> they were <laughs> Do you think there was a telescope in the room during the cosplay? We know it's you, Nina. Nice try, exactly. Okay. Let's tell a joke. Okay, but he wants to- she wants to talk. He can chat. It can impart knowledge. Oh, we don't have our light bulb hat on. This is not good. Play with Antonio. Be tickled by Antonio. Uh, play. Oh no, we can't tickle yet. Okay. He just gets- wants to get skills. Buddy, your children need you. Oh, there we go. We can tickle now. <laughs> what was the telescope for? <laughs> I don't know, you tell me! For the immersion! Maybe, do you think Don has a specific... <laughs> a very specific <laughs> interest in that the moment that Bella was abducted? <laughs> right up the nut. I, I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> very specific roleplay. She wants her way into the fortune. That's a good way to put it. She wants her way into the fortune. Uh-oh. <gasps> Uh-oh, what happened? A, a misinteraction happened. This is not part of this wifey speedrun plans. No, don't walk away, Nina. Also, I think I need to fix Nina's hair because... Okay. Can, should I... Should we go along with the... With the black wig or should I... 
Permission to put in time out for one second. <laughs> Permission granted. <laughs> oh, oh no, I clicked on it while it's saving. Please don't crash. <laughs> Wish I had a mod to be able to do future fortune to do fortune teller interactions for normal Sims. That'd be fun. Does he does he like black her? Like oh, you mean like black hair? I don't know. Do you think he's wait, does he like black hair? Sorry, that's probably what you were asking. What is his turn-ons? He likes him fat and with makeup. That's not Nina. But he doesn't like him to have a job. Oh no, yeah, he likes it when they are, are employed. He likes them to have a job. Thank you for the lurk belly aches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wants them thick. He's gonna wait, he's a he's a chef. He sees her, he's like, she's perfect, but I gotta feed her some food. I gotta fatten her up. He's a feeder. No. He's a feeder. <laughs> he's a feminist. <laughs> He's a feminist feeder. <laughs> also, hi, belly aches. Yeah, I'm feeling better today, thankfully. <laughs> he like all he likes about Dina Goth is her job. Oh God, should I gussy her up? Should I keep the wig? <laughs> An FF. The, the thing that's bothering me too. I think the reason she has this is because last time I played her, I was using the True Max's uh, hair system, and I haven't fixed it. That when I swapped, swapped over. Okay, we're doing a back rub that's successful. They want a tickle. Love her tickle. It's gonna let me. Okay, it's gonna. See, she's got the, these eyebrows that I don't love. They're like a they're like a true Maxis eyebrow that I apparently still have in my game. I'd like to give her like a these other ones. Should she? Should she? <laughs> I don't know why. Like it's even given her like the black hair. Maybe we should keep the black hair for the for the storyline. Maybe I'll just pick a nicer one that I kind of like better. She's gonna she's undercover in Veronaville. She's made she's burned too many bridges. Like this one's kind of nice. She's burned too many bridges in in Pleasant View. <laughs> Takes it off. Surprise. Black with red streaks, that's true. Black streaks. I do have I think I have some stuff here. Oh god, look at this. I don't think that's Nina co coded. Oh my. This looks like something we'd see in a machinima. These are cute. I downloaded these recently. Look at this little buns. Nope, I haven't had anybody wear it yet. Do you have... Hmm. You have like this. We could go down the road of just her having hair like this. Hmm. But... But do the... Does she die at all? That's a good question, I guess. Like, I don't know. I think this this sleek look looks nice on her. I usually give her like a curly hair texture or like a wavy. Oh, there's also this. I feel like somebody has this. No, you know what? In Calicundia, somebody has this. With blonde, she looks like Dina. Maybe that's the point. Maybe she's trying to, to trick somebody. What about, is there a, ooh, there's this. Oh, her fat forehead pops through. Black on top and red down below, yeah. Is there is there one like that? Yeah, I like the black tips too. I think that worked well. What's going on here? Ooh, that's a Oh this one's that's kind of fun. I like shortcuts on her too sometimes. That was kind of fun too. I don't know. I, oh, the little updo is kind of fun. <laughs> All these hairs are so nice. You get some custom colored ones. Yeah, they're fun to have. I don't use them a ton. But they are kind of fun. Scoot. That's true. It's very scoot. Very scoot. I don't know. I also like the idea of her having a wig <laughs> for some reason, but I don't know. I don't. Uh, no, those are braids. I thought that was just a ponytail. Ooh, look at this little half and half moment. I wish there was a half black, half or Oh, there's. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal Beth. Thanks. <laughs> it's the energy we needed in the room. <laughs> I'm still not over the creepy dreamer alert. You like it? <laughs> not again. <laughs> I don't know why I I made that, but I had to. 
God, I don't know. Usually, I, I mean, she's sporty. I feel like she needs like a little updo or a little ponytail or something. I could also look and see what I have just in the red section. I love this hair. This mesh is like so good. Like it just looks good on everybody, but I don't think it's for her at the same time. <laughs> it's so eerie. <laughs> Spooky vibes. Yes. I feel like the toddler will haunt my nightmares. Yeah. That's the picture of them at the at the fish tank where their head is cocked to the side. Uh, a cow head. Honestly, the chef and the cow. I feel like I might just give her like a Nina hair. I feel like she's got like a little updo or something. Like this is Nina. I don't know. I don't know how we feel. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of threw together a a random Photoshop edit of it, like an inverted Photoshop edit type thing. <laughs> yeah, I thought the braids are cute. What are these? Oh, that's kind of fun. I can just go with the braids. I think that's fine. I'm kind of getting tired of trying to decide. Like, I get to a point where it's like there's so many options that I'm just like fatigued from deciding. And I think maybe I need to just, um, <laughs> I need to just not have all the custom hairs, but then I still want them and I miss them. Go with braids. She's taken off her wig. She's revealed her true self. <laughs> She's revealed her true self. Maybe. <laughs> if my game doesn't implode. <laughs> True star-crossed lovers. There we go. She, she looks so much better. <laughs> she looks so much better now. Oh, okay. Beatrice is on the brink of recovery. She has a fear of being married to Antonio. This is, this is, honestly, the, this is the worst case scenario for our wifey speed run. To get a romance sim. Uh, let's just do a dance. Bye, Morky. Thanks for hanging out. Have a nutful rest of the stream. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. We will try our hardest. <laughs> she wants Herb. She does want Herb. I think I don't think Antonio knows what he's getting into. You know, he's not on top of all the Pleasant View gossip. He doesn't understand. He can just... <laughs> he can just... <laughs> both? Both of the... Both, all of the above, maybe? <laughs> all of the above, perhaps? Okay, we need to stop too. I didn't mean to have him like full on put head on shoulders. Like he's not even like interested. Let's do a charm. Let's just do like some stuff. Why is she acting all shy? Time is running out. Oh no, we failed. I'm glad you said on top of all the Pleasant View gossip and now Pleasant View girlies. I don't know. I'm manifesting Herbie Nina baby. Oh, maybe. Maybe baby. Maybe baby. I don't know. Uh oh, the phone's ringing inside. Nobody's paying attention. Oh. Uh oh. This is going badly. She's so into him. Are we going to have to drop another 5k? Find another girly. What does she want? Slow dance. We just did a slow dance. Oh my god. She is a shy. That's interesting that she is technically a shy sim. Yeah, you'd assume it to be the opposite, but maybe she's maybe she's compensating. Is Antonia available? No. <laughs> do you think do you think Titania knows the the gossip and has heard and is like, don't do it. Don't do it, Antonio. The tiny, oh, you like the little tiny Will Wright? Got a little tiny Will Wright chilling. All right, the date's going. She wants to be friends with Antonio. She's like, I could see him as just a friend. Oh, they just made friends. Okay. He wants to hug her. All right. I don't know. They don't feel like they... I mean, they technically have chemistry, but it's like, I don't know. Can we try a romantic hug? Okay. They don't have a crush yet or anything, though. Can we do a kiss? Oh, there they... There he, he's got a crush on her. She doesn't have a crush on him. Oh, never mind. Antonio and Brandy. That'd be cute. She, Brandy's still married to Darren in this hood. Oh, 
Sylvia just aged up on her own. Where are you, Sylvia? Oh no, Sylvia aged up and I didn't even see. I'm sorry, Sylvia. What is the hair? Oh no. Get out of the bathtub. Let me see what, what, what what's happened. Her peepers. She got peepers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Trait for Sylvia. Yep, and the other kids don't have their traits either. I like her little dress. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you for your, uh, like, oh Ooh, my god. You. That's doubled now. Ooh. I can't go to you. The double like, what is, why? <laughs> why does it echo sometimes? <laughs> why does it echo sometimes? I can never solve it. <laughs> Fever dream. It doesn't sounds like a fever dream. <laughs> okay, let's give her some. Here, we'll use this. Because <laughs> it's cursed, I guess so. But like that one didn't really sound it unless it was just hard to hear. What kind of hair should she have? Is there any that like cover the whole face? Maybe we could use that. Oh my, oh god, that made it worse. That just made the eyes pop out. Her eyes just pop out from everything. Why does she have this face? That's a good question. She's the product of Antonio and an alien, so. <laughs> and I, I guess I am this is just where we're at. Daddy was a <laughs> just ask them why they have that face. See. See, I need to make a I need to make a machinima to that one. That's what I need to do. I'm gonna make a little mini machinima to that that sound. I don't know what she I was gonna try and find something maybe that was like her other one. Oh that's her hair her head pops through that. Butt spot. <laughs> I think she looks interested. Like her hair and eyes are so ordinary in color, but then that face, yeah. <laughs> so some old nut had to. <laughs> I like that butt spot at somebody. I think that's fun. I don't know. I don't know what the. I don't think she looks great with bangs, though. There we go. I kind of like this. This is kind of a fun little look. I don't know. I'm just gonna go with it. Oh, you think she looks cute in bangs? Oh, opposite <laughs> opposite opinions. <laughs> He's on my side, go. Yeah, butt spots on your side. There we go. That's just the look for now. I think I'm just gonna give her another bed in here in her sister's room. I have a bunch of invisible lights in this house that keep goofing with everything I'm doing. Uh we we'll leave that and do this. I like that. I don't know. I don't really like- it feels like there's something missing here. Maybe just like a, a toy box or a- uh, maybe a little doy- do I almost just said dual house- doyle house. <laughs> Gotta get a dual ha dual house in here. <laughs> a doll house. There we go. Okay, well we don't have a screaming toddler anymore. That's nice. Where did Nina go? What did you do with Nina? Your date's gonna run out. She's drinking tea. What do y'all want to do? We'll give a give a back rub. Let's do a back rub. He doesn't have any wants for her. He has fears. <laughs> du dual house. Dual. Doyle house. <laughs> How about a doll with following eyes? That's true. I could have done that. Every house needs one of those. Why are we going out here? I'm afraid for our wifey speed run. I don't think our wifey speed run's gonna turn out well. Why are we going outside? Why are we going out back to give each other a back rub? Why? Why must we do this? <laughs> okay, New Jersey. <laughs> new Nutsy. <laughs> Not the New Nutsy. <laughs> that, that, now that sounds like New Nutsy sounds like it should be like a some kind of like the downtown hood for Calicundia or something. 
make a custom downtown hood. It'd be new nutsy. Uh, charm. I don't know. We gotta do stuff. He wants. She wants to kiss. We gotta kiss. We gotta hug. Romantic. She wanted to give back rub. He's not getting any wants related to the date, so it's like I can't really go by him. I have to go by her. Got to make out with Antonio. We can't make out yet. <laughs> Nutsford University, the next town. Yeah, new Nutsy. You gotta remember that. Okay, he's he's. What are you doing, buddy? Trying to make out. She's not into our date. Or is she not like our dirty jokes? Oh no, didn't like our dirty joke. Oh no, this is bad. Oh no, Nina's not our wifey. We can't. We can't marry this lady. We gotta kiss her though. He wants to kiss. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> his name's Nutley. <laughs> I don't even know. She's a proper lady, allegedly. Um, propose. What if we just said, go, go, move in? What if we asked her to move in? What if we just went for it? <laughs> oh, wait, not dirty joke. I just hit dirty joke again. No. Let's charm. We'll do a charm. It nut. <laughs> it does. It nut. <laughs> Let's put. Let's put, please. Now what does he want to do? Hug Nina. It seems like a painful date. Maybe he should have just. Maybe we should have just gone out somewhere. Do a romantic hug. I'm trying to get to the point of make out. You can samooch. He wants to tell her a joke, but oh, uh oh, Benedict. Benedict threw an error. Why are you chewing up the stove? Uh, do you not have a scratching post? Let me get the cat another scratching post. Do you not do that? Can you do this? Apparently can't. Some mooch. I know the cat's very unhappy. This guy, also, none of these guys are doing their homework. The other thing that's interesting is n none of them want to go to college, which makes me feel like I'm not going to... I don't know. Like, they're not getting the want. Do we, should I force them? I feel like maybe Antonio would force them. I know. The, like, why are you... Why? Scratching the oven. Or the range hood. Oh, I saw what you mean. They're up here. It was... I saw... Yeah, and, the, uh, and it's gone now. It's been destroyed. He just literally destroyed the, the hood. <laughs> okay, bud. Thanks for that. Oh my god, finally we can make out. Little bustard. Nails of steel. Okay, can we make out, please? Is Antonio just going to do whatever he can to, to marry this woman? Slow dance. Like, even if they're not compatible. Ooh, she wants to woohoo. Should we go for it? I think we should go for it. Uh, casual woohoo bed. Did I make her selectable? Isn't that how you do it to get her in case you see if she get pregnant? I also haven't taken out my silent pregnancy yet. I kind of want to do that. In my playthrough, I think I... I didn't make them go to college either. Interesting. Because are they... Who, what is... Are they both family? They are. Which I feel like family sims don't get that want as much. Yeah, I know. Time's running out, man. We might not have... Uh, uh, yeah, they might not be able to make it happen in this amount of time. I mean, it's still a great date. Can we just get to it? Oh, dang it. Ma'am. We wanted to woohoo. I'm going to make him do it again. See, it, it canceled it on him because of the end date thing. There we go. We need a, we need a Nina baby. <laughs> we need a, and Antonio is going to absolutely destroy Nina's beautiful, perfect jeans. <laughs> Don's dad belly. This is, um, his name's Antonio, actually. 
But he does have a very nice little dad belly, if that's who you mean. <laughs> Ten seconds. <laughs> too too little to woohoo. And the thing is, is they... With the ACR woohoo, they, like, mess around for a while before they actually engage in the woohoo. So it's like, ugh. Oh, he wants to buy a car. I might do that. We're running out of our insurance money, our, uh, funds. Are we gonna- oh. Oh, yeah, Dot on the brain. No, it's okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. <They're> fast. <laughs> Almost got me. Almost got me. Her eyes red? Oh, really? Nina's eyes? Perfect timing. <laughs> should I... I guess I should make her unselectable. I don't know. I don't know what to do because he has no interest in this woman. Like, he has no wants. He only has one fear. Oh, in the cutscene. Interesting. I didn't even see that. Like, what is the, is, is my motivation just to force them because his kids want it, even though they're like about to be adults and not care anymore? <laughs> I mean, I guess they still could care. I don't know. I mean, he's Aero. Yeah, he's aromantic. He could still be, he could still be wanting to find a partner for just the sake of the children. Because, I mean, he still has one child. I just, I don't think Nina's it, man. <laughs> Y'all like that one. <laughs> Y'all keep, see, you keep, <laughs> you keep acting disgusted and then you keep redeeming it. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> I'm going to have to come up with different ones. I hope, I, I need to figure out how to randomize them. It calls to me, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's your, it's Dreamer. It's your, it's your namesake. Oh, look at the kitty sleeping on the bed, being wholesome, and she's gonna tuck her in. Look at this wholesome moment. Yeah, and she disappeared or died, yeah. So it's like, makes sense. Um, I'm gonna have you go to sleep. Because the thing also, anyway, with these two, as far as them going to college and stuff, like... She just wants to grow up, and they don't want to ever do their homework. Like, they hate school. They're probably doing terrible in school. He wants to cook and make friends. I, I did notice that. She's kind of like a little... She's got a little bit of the Calicundian spirit. She can't close her eyes fully to sleep. Oh, my God. Well, she's, she's dreaming about handcuffs? Prime? That's a lot. That's, that's interesting. That poor thing. Family sims suck in college, too, yeah. So I might as well just, if they don't roll the want last minute, then we'll just go with it. Can't sleep on the grind. <laughs> well, I'm glad that we don't have a screaming baby in here anymore. I'm gonna save it, too, while we're all sleeping. I've got a few more minutes before I have to roll ads again, um, which I'll probably do it like a BRB, and then we'll do machinima. But that'll be just a couple more minutes. Oh, remember when someone said the default brown eyes when the Sims 2 blink sometimes? Yeah, it's their, it was their skeleton. Yeah, I think about that a lot. <laughs> Hi, another girl. How are you? How are you doing? Whatcha doing, buddy? No, you're not going to do that. He keeps... Oh, he doesn't have the want anymore. He wanted to serve food, but you know what? Here, come serve breakfast. Be a, you, you're a little family sim. You want to be a little family man? Get to it. Get to it. You are schlepping. Oh, you're awake. 
No, I don't want you to drink tea. I'm kind of annoyed by the tea thing. I like the tea thing, but I kind of would rather them actually eat food, and they just don't because it's so easy to go to the tea. See? Like, just easy for them to go get tea. Loading my Uber hood. Gonna find Darren Dreamer a wife for from a new hood for once. Interesting. That could be that could be cool. You gonna okay? You're gonna wait for food. How about you just eat? Just eat the food, buddy. Goneril, Cap, and Antonio are no longer best friends. Oh, I I I didn't know you were friends with a cap. I think that was a story progression moment. He has the day off today, too. He has three days off. Should we go on the prowl for another wifey? Maybe we need to just go to, like, a downtown lot. Or maybe he'll go just to Pleasant View. The betrayal. You mean the, the losing a friend? <laughs> but maybe we can have him, like, go to a lot today. We'll just see. See if he can go somewhere where there's a bunch of people and he can, like, pick the one that's the most attractive and just try. Because I just don't think him and Nina, they just didn't... That just wasn't it. He just wasted five grand. He's only got six grand left. He, is he going to spend... I don't think he's going to spend more money on these people. I think he needs to just go find one himself. He's realized that the easy way was not the best way. <laughs> what does Benedict remind me of a less nutted up nervous? That's true. He does have a little bit of a... Something about, I think, the eyes... Maybe the eyes and just the face shape. I just realized he's got pimples, too. He's got acne. Get on the bus. Are you gonna get on the bus? You gotta get out of bed. Crystal Ball is better to, at choosing the partners than the matchmaker, though. I don't know if you have that mod. I think I do, and I've never used it because I don't understand it. Would it be down here? Maybe I took it out. This the, That's a supernatural transformer. Is, no, that's not it. I thought I did at one point. I might have gotten rid of it. It costs a thousand. Oh, it only works for adults slash elders. Hmm. I swore I had it. Is it in the miscellaneous usually? Or would it be like... Maybe it's in... Hmm. For me, it's a misc miss. I might have taken it out. I don't know. It's not that. That's a supernatural transformer. Mm -hmm. it's so easy to miss things with the little thumbnails. That's the clock cleaner. Is is it like a purple? Yeah, I, I don't think I. S maybe it's not a purple, but I don't see it. I'll have to. Maybe I'll have to get it again in the future. Sylvia? Sylvia's got problems. Oh, Sylvia's gotta go to school, too. Oh. Beatrice? Uh-oh, everybody's having errors. Did it have- Oh, maybe the bus left? Sylvia? Uh-oh. What are we doing, y'all? Oh, it's like whenever I go to click on them. Problem executing script. Oh, the lock... Wait, the lock cleaner did this probably... You only gotta click it in buy mode. Oh, I'm do. Oh, the lock... You mean what's happening right now? Uh-oh. I was gonna just, like, reset them. Unless I have to go and come back. I do have to run ads. Uh, if I have to do, like, a reload or something. Yeah, crap. Let me, uh... I don't know what'll fix it. <laughs> They're breaking the fourth wall. Uh-oh. What if I delete them both and then le then like leave and come back? Maybe I could do that. I'm gonna roll an ad while we're figuring this out. Cause I don't really feel like I need a BRB right now, so I'm just gonna roll the ads. Am I corrupt? Okay. Here, let me just Let me just go. Let me just go out. I don't know if I don't know if I saved. We'll just see. Bum, 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 bum. 
So I'm working on trying to make my own uh, ramen like seasoning mix. I've been looking up little recipes and stuff just because the ones that like come with the ramen packets are like so salty and awful. Like they taste good, but they're like bad for you. Because a lot cleaner just cleans a lot to upload them out of the Sims. Yeah. Let me just see if like going, coming out and going back in helps. Thank you for the all for hell. I did not update the picture yet, too. I need to give, give her a new picture. Beatrice is healthy again. And she needs to walk to school. Okay, I, so far, so good. Oh, he's wait, he's home. He got reset. I wonder if it was something about him being like here but not here or something. If there was some kind of... Ooh, I bet I know what it was. The bus was here. And then I grabbed the lot cleaner and it probably cleared the bus off the lot. And like Benedict was like kind of here but kind of not. And then, you know what I mean? Like there was some... That's what happened, I bet. Oh, make it Sims... Uh, welcoming your Sims to the hood again. Okay. But yeah, because both of those girls were headed to the bus, but like Antonio wasn't getting errors because he had nothing to do with the bus. I bet that's might have been what it was. Oh, Benedict's got the flu now. Thank you for I like the cobwebs, yes. I got them I was I was like, I want spooky stuff. So I went on to Etsy and I found some very low cost decorations that I could I bought from from creators that, that make them for for streams. Um, I'm gonna have you go to the bathroom, and then I guess we'll have you go on an adventure to a lot. But I also do want to do a machinima break. The 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 ad break's almost over. It's, that happened. Imagine that happening IRL. You get a problem with the house, and the neighbors just show up saying, "Nice to meet you." Oh my god, that would be like a you know what that that feels like a Twilight Zone episode. If you accidentally like touch an object in the house or something, it resets your existence among the neighborhood if <laughs> th everybody thinks you're new <laughs> that'd be creepy all right antonio i'm gonna save you real quick the ad break's about to be over do we want to watch a machinima do a little part part way through machinima moment um there we go I don't know what the I don't know what the the oops oh no <laughs> not the machine of a jump scare sorry uh my boyfriend's a werewolf is a, a good option we also have do we have any more episodes of emo love story we do we have plenty emo love story spooky vibes that's true we could do werewolf with spooky vibes or this one knifed why did my brain want to say nutted <laughs> I looked at it in my brain I won't almost called it nutted Sims 2 horror story. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Nutted. And then this one, voice acting horror. The Sims 1 I haven't touched yet either. I just don't know how that's gonna be. Are they short? They're not super short. I think I want to watch my boyfriend as a werewolf. <laughs> Let's go see what this is about. I'm gonna watch a machinima... Oh. Butt spot hacked my brain. Okay, let's see. So, this is called My Boyfriend is a Werewolf, The Sims 2. It was made 14 years ago in 2009. Note, this is not the original video. To see the original, please follow this link. Sims Tube? You think that's a safe link to look at? I, I, I'm curious. Is it going to open? Oh, it's like in another language. Okay. I'm going to guess Sims 2 doesn't belong to... Okay. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have clicked that, like, <laughs> on screen just in case it was, like, now a porno site or something. That probably was a bad idea. <laughs> uh, 
Hey everyone, this is my latest machinima film. This video probably took me the longest to complete because I was experimenting with green screening and color balances. Ooh, this is fancy. D so description, Taylor has come to realize that something horrific is true. Her boyfriend is a werewolf and could be a potential harm to himself. Everything changes once the truth is out. Taylor doesn't want to hang out with her best friend Becca anymore and all she can think about is her boyfriend. She tries avoiding him, it doesn't work. In the end, Taylor tries to find him, but someone else ends up finding her. <laughs> Here was the where you can download the werewolf I used. Oh, we got a little Mod the Sim link. Yeah, I was holding my breath. I should have I was trying to click it to open up a new tab and hoping it would open on the other screen, but it didn't work. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Alright. Oh, I have don't have the sound on here. Okay. Spooky. I don't like the heartbeat. <laughs> the generic sounds. <laughs> the generic scream and that wolf. I do appreciate the sound effects, though. There's voice acting. Okay, this the production quality is good on this one. You know how my dad is. The CC. <laughs> Which Twilight movie is this? Is there subtitles? Let me see. Dang it, there's not. A lot of these old ones, they're not. I don't know why. Why can't it just generate them? You want me to turn it up at all? What's out of it lately, Taylor? All of the, all of the non-main characters just have, like... Max's hair. <laughs> She's just doing the look around. Why is this girly in the background just looking around? Oh, we know these are some main characters because they got the... <laughs> they got the... Oh, they got the CC. Uh-oh, the emo boy. This is so dramatic. So dramatic. Oh. <laughs> That's true. It probably was recorded in a loud classroom. Oh, this girl. Oh. The, the werewolf. Wait, the why? Why did the werewolf look like that? Wait, why was he a furry? The werewolf was just a furry. Oh, I missed him. No, I want to see him again. He's just a furry. <laughs> the werewolf's a furry. Evanescence <laughs> in every emo video. Julie said, "Ooh, ooh, ooh." <laughs> I like the, the lack of edge smoothing. All of the edges are crunchy. They're as crunchy as possible. Oh, he was there, but he wasn't. Okay. Uh-oh. We don't get any voice acting for this? Do they not have a boy to stand in? I miss butt crack guy. We're gonna have to watch back that one. <laughs> We're gonna have to watch back. Nut for wolves. Foreshadowing the Sims for werewolves. What is this? <laughs> she was just like she watched him cast, and she's like, he's he's perfect, and he just jumps on the ice. What? She's like, he's he's the one. Ha ha. He killed himself on the ice. Oh. He yeeted. He can fish and fall. 
What is this? What is this? Is she, did he attack her? He must have attacked her. Okay. The jeans. Look, did you see the werewolf has jeans on? <laughs> Look at his little jean shoes. He's got jorts on. He's got little jorts on. Okay. Did you want a naked wolf? I just didn't expect the jorts. So I don't understand who this guy was that just like tried he scared off. Is that a, was that what? Back to teen emo, yeah. <laughs> this is so dramatic. Everything in slow motion. Well, okay. <laughs> that was an experience. Was it? Back to emo teens that I can kiss now. Still a better love story than Twilight. I'm gonna... Oh, newest first and then scroll. Oh, there's not a lot of comments. Love it! Werewolves are the best. OMG, the most terrifying thumbnail ever. Great job. Greetings from Germany. <laughs> these are mostly... Oh. 126 sexy this is a furry look this 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 therm this picture i don't know if you can see that you i don't know if you can see but this is this is a little furry the, the furry liked it go back to 126 i think it's when he's transforming it's gotta be i'm also sad that the um i'm also sad that the no i guess not why was this sexy? What was sexy about 126? I thought it was him transforming. Wait, let me look what's like right before? Maybe she- did they mean the- Her? <laughs> we'll never know. Some girl's getting strangled in the background. Maybe that's what it is, because that's 125. They were doing a noogie in the background. I think they're real. If they weren't- how did these legends start? Question, there's a lot of questions there. Hello, Princess Goldfur. Maybe when they first saw the guy, I'm guessing. I don't remember since it's been a while. But I got most of my clothes. Oh, that's the reply. Are werewolves really real? Everyone says I'm nuts when I say I believe in them. <laughs> Not butt spot ruining it. Conspiracies in the comment section. How come they only talk in the beginning? On it, it's same. Good question, Angela Peanut Butter. I also would like to know. Mangal over 400 believes in werewolves. Yep. Guys, don't you read? He downloaded it. <laughs> How did you get that kind of werewolf? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Please tell me. How did you get that werewolf? Is that Sims 2? I've got with werewolves, but they don't look much as cool as that one. How did you make him look like that? Oh my god. <laughs> look, let's, 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 I want to look at what this werewolf, is it still available? Nope. The werewolf is no longer available. It was on Mod The Sims, that's why I clicked that, because it was a safe link. Okay. We'll close window. <laughs> no, no more, no more werewolf. Uh, here, we'll do this. There we go. <laughs> that was a fun one. <laughs> Not pr grin prink nuts gold fur. Prink nuts gold fur. Question mark. Question mark. Okay. Back to business. Back to, to business. Yeah, Butt Spot renamed you, apparently. Kind of miss the days of people just being so confused about. Yeah, it's true. 
of the CC and mods. This werewolf foreshadowed in Sims 4 Werewolf's Mess. True. Maybe that's why it was deleted. Maybe Sims 4 sued the creator. They said, that's our design. Before it even happened. Maybe maybe the Sims 4 was already all... This was already all planned all the way back in 2009. Oh my god. 341 inches? 449 inches? Oh no. Okay, you need to walk... Oh, you wanted to buy a car. Let's buy him a car. And we'll go for an adventure. Oh, my lo-fi music is playing. Kinda... This feels very Veronaville, but I don't know if it matches any of the surroundings. Is there like a... Isn't there like a tan? Oh, actually, I could do this and do an invisible one. Where does that want to go? Maybe here? Do that. I'm gonna go even do that. Look at that. Nobody's been using this thing. Guess I can do... What kind of car? He can't afford much, but... It's just a big a SWAT. What is this? I think it's got three colors. Oh yeah. Delivery truck. She just drive a delivery truck and <laughs> be very not suspicious. Look, it's his it's his work vehicle. <laughs> FBI open up. He he does catering. Maybe he's a caterer. What's all the colors? That's a phone. Moving. Just the mailbox. I like the mailbox. Okay, we got Okay, a little chef! It's a chef! Who <laughs> will use the SWAT truck? This question must be answered. Ooh, the steak? Now oh, he's gonna have the little chef one. This isn't Calicundia, but the food-themed one would work for him, yeah. That's why I downloaded this was for Calicundia, for my sims that have jobs, like... where they go and, and, and uh, do stuff. <laughs> like the active NPC jobs. <laughs> That's not as stupid, is it? Jobs where they go and do stuff? I used to think CC install insulation, no, installation was like cool hacking method, but to edit the existing stuff that I couldn't do. Yeah, I think I was afraid of CC for a while. For a long time, I played vanilla Maxis Sims. Uh, uh, change owner, Antonio, and then go somewhere. So now Antonio's not going to get any carpool he's gonna drive that to work which is gonna look correct is he gonna take his cat i don't think so i think he's gonna go to pleasant view where's he gonna go the grocery store that's probably where you meet ladies right you meet ladies at the grocery store he is a food man you know <laughs> we gotta meet him at the grocery store There's actually also a little poker table in the back of the grocery store. Yeah, you gotta meet him at the cemetery. Yep. <laughs> of course. Look at his old delivery truck in the picture. It's perfect. Perfect. Real tasty grocery. I don't go to this lot enough. Okay. Oh. I just hear. I just heard like a sound. Oh my god, it's going loud. Oh yeah, I, I put some uh, seed racks here. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's all a little bit. Look, he looks like he's doing business here. He's got his little chef truck. He's rolling up to the grocery store. It's chugging because everybody's loading in here. Oh, this music is loud. I might turn on the music a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna go play poker. Oh my god, it's chugging. Who are these two back here talking? This is General Buzz and Peter Sims. General Buzz is making shady deals in the back of the... the freaking... 
Okay, Grocery fine. store. Look at this guy. Um, also, hi, Heritage Nomad. Hello. Speaking of cemeteries, I saw a TikTok where someone went to one and saw a hole dug out from underneath a concrete long grave on top of the grass, and their only reaction was, well... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Interesting. Look at this girly. Isabella Voss is cute. Her eyes are goofing. Her eyes are doing some things, but she's kind of neat. Yeah, I got, I got whole. <laughs> I heard. I understood the whole. I understood the whole. Oh, Miss Lucy. Miss Lucy's here. Why is Buzz talking to Lucy? What's Buzz doing to Lucy? Oh wait, Lucy's married to her his son, so that's probably it. That's probably. It. I got whole. <laughs> oh thank God! I thought it was a hand. Oh. We got Rafe Weatherly, who's a pretty cool-looking guy. He kind of looks like he's a little bit tired of everything all the time, but he's kind of- he's nice. He looks like he's probably a nice guy. I'm looking for the ladies, though. We're looking for girlies. We need some ladies on the lot. You're not a lady. I don't know, should I try and- maybe we should try and talk to this girlie. We're trying to find him a wifey. We need a wifey. Thank you for the follow, Pop Tilda. Welcome in. <laughs> that would be horrible, yes. Ooh. What was that sound? Did, did it, there was just a voice that got really loud or something? Ethan? Who's Ethan? I think he's a townie. Is he one of the new townies or is he... I think he's a new townie. Ethan Barrett. That name sounds familiar, but he doesn't look familiar. Maybe he just has different hair. He's real happy. Look at this little happy guy. Uh-oh, I think she's tired of us. <laughs> Lucy's gonna go gamble. Wait, why is it Monday? Is it just because we're in a different hood that it's Monday? <laughs> What's Ethan? I just realized it's like it's a it's Monday. <laughs> Whom's to Ethan? Why Ethan? How does Ethan? She's not into us. Ma'am, please listen. Oh, it was only a matter of time. Who did she just find? Oh, I didn't see. We're just bothering women at the grocery store. Uh, oops, I just did that, but that's okay. Let's chat. Tell him a joke. Oh, she was swooning over Don. Understandable. <laughs> and I think he has, like, the... He has that romance sim thing that makes him irresistible. The Like, the tree. The aspiration tree or whatever. <laughs> okay, we're getting along. What's what's okay? We've got two bolts with her. Her name's Isabella. Although that's kind of weird because our mom was Isabella, isn't she? Is our mom's name was Isabella? Is he marrying a lady that's the same name as his mom? I don't know about that. <laughs> Butt spot is pack nut fun. You can call her Isa or Bella, yeah. Yeah, the, the the vending machine is fun. I like the little the little picture, the little video, our little two frame. Put your money in. I like this lady. I hope this lady's doing okay. Who do you think this sim is? I don't even. Is that hair in the game? Like as a default hair? Is that's not the quite the same as the the tucked hair. It's like a different hair. Also, I think you can see, like, a, a line right here. Like, they just cut her head to... <laughs> Uh-oh. Turns out I'm your boss's cousin. I'm phoning in a favor. Okay. Um, how about I do a little macro... Oops, I went past it. Macro socialize friendly and just make them friends? That's Miss Crump before she lost her job, yeah. That's before she she uh, couldn't handle the corporate life anymore and she had a meltdown and, and wanders the streets knitting. 
I like this pleasant view in Strange Town crew just gambling away their their Monday. I did make this lot. Yeah, I actually made a video about it too. I think I did like a speed build. And I think it's for a download on my website. Yeah, she is also, yeah, she's a pretty this this girl is pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a no no CC except for some recolors. I think I have a bunch of like all of these recolored, you know. I feel like if I were to make it nowadays, I'd probably make it smaller. Like it's a little bit gigantic. Like there's not a lot of sims here really. Also have this little space up here. Our little secret space. Make her your queen? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Ooh, they're at exactly 69 relationship. You think she'll take a charm? Oops, I hit fast forward. He's talking about his son, Makushio. I'm trying to speed run wifey, and it's not going good. We need a we need a mail order bride service. That would be kind of a funny mod. Like an actual like pay money. Have a sim show up and immediately you, you like auto get married, and then you have to like deal with this incompatible marriage. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. Like it costs a bunch of money. It is kind of the matchmaker. Oh, you can sort of do that with the wishing well. Interesting. Wish it was a Sims Tinder, yeah, some something. Like a dating website in general. Like if they could put like the Sims 3 dating website thing into the Sims 2, that'd be cool. Oop, oh a crush. He's got a crush. Why not? What do you mean? I think well we're trying to we're trying to hopefully get him a wifey. See, he's a he's a knowledge sim that doesn't have any wants towards getting married, but his kids want him to. So I think that's why he's doing it. So we're gonna hopefully see. Hopefully he can get a wifey. Oh, so hi, Toby. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Okie dokie. We had a successful charm. Um, ask. Should I ask her on a date? I feel like if I ask her on a date, can I bring her somewhere else? Can we go to another lot? I also don't know why it's Monday. I think it's supposed to be Tuesday. Oh yeah, there's a couple of new uh, redeems. Ooh, she's got a crush on us. Oh, there we go. Oh, we started our date. Okay. Can we... Oh, she's a family sim. That's good. Let's... Can I go to another lot and bring her? Get off me. Oh. you. <laughs> See, it sounds a little double. Oh. I said up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, family sims are always very wholesome. Maybe we'll stay... What if he takes her back to Veroniville? Since both food and fun may be found. We'll go here. Is she gonna come with us? I hope she comes with us. If not, I can spawn her. <laughs> you like that? That was my little, uh, my little 20 minute machinima <laughs> that I made. My, not like 20 minute long. Like it took me 20 minutes to make it. <laughs> I did, it's, it's, uh, Dandy Pooty and, or no, Mandy, Dandy Pooty. And Herb Moldy <laughs> from Calicundia. Is she getting in? It looks like we're waiting for her, so I'm hoping she's gonna join us. Did she get on the darn thing? Where is she? Oh, she's coming. She's coming. We're gonna make it happen. <laughs> There's another one. It's called The Most Beautiful Creation. There you go.
things, you'll never get those points back. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How dare you hate on our perfect child, the most beautiful creation! Imagine being named after that creature. I know, what kind of creep would name themselves after that thing? My therapist will be hearing about this. <laughs> I hear like a weird knocking outside. Somebody's banging on something. <laughs> not butt spot getting in on the fun. I'm addicted to these crackers. I need to not. I need to not keep crunching on them over here. <laughs> toke nut rim, <laughs> not the toke nut rim. Where's our date? Our date's not here. I'm gonna put down a little. Is that the manipulator? Oh. Ghosts prompting on cra crab curs. I love me some crab. I need to go to the store and pick out some new ones. I gotta look. I gotta review the cracker selection. Um, spawn. I'm just gonna bring her here. I don't remember. She must be. Is she under the townies? Her name was Isabella. I don't know if she's actually. Oh, yeah, right there. Ask on date. There she is. <laughs> Buttspot gave Toby a new name too. Yeah, Buttspot names everybody. What crackers you slurping? Do you slurp your crackers? Also, thanks. I you like the little cobwebs. Oh, who's this? Oh, this is Tank. Mr. Tank is here. Hello. Oh, she wants to eat out with us. He wants to talk to Isabella. Let's gossip. Also, I'm I'm eating the townhouse crackers. But I want to, like I said, I want to look at some different ones. Oh, I got, let me officially greet her, I guess. I don't know why I'm not greeted. I don't want her to leave by accident. Just because I didn't greet her. <laughs> it's gotta be bagel nut. Maybe bagels nut? We gotta, <laughs> we gotta, everybody just keep adding bagel swag until Buttspat responds. <laughs> don't really, don't really, I don't think that'll work. The flamingo is watching, yes, it's true. It's true. There we go. We're, this is a see. This is a successful date. I think this is more successful. He's actually getting wants for her. He didn't get wants for the other girly. Ms. Ms. Nina. What's the dance? Am I not? Am I missing it? Wasn't that? Isn't this slow dance? Yeah. Where is slow dance? I guess I don't have the option yet. We can do a flirt. <laughs> <laughs> Kerosene. What is eat out with us? Eat, oh no! <laughs> it, it caught your it caught your message. The the mod the auto mod. He actually has compatibility compatibility compatibility. Might be a little peckish. <laughs> I'm a very much a beige food enjoyer, but I hate crackers. Interesting. The, the, wait, this was an autonomous back rub, wasn't it? I didn't think. Did I tell him to give her? I don't think I told him to give her a back rub. Yeah, he wants to dance with her, but I can't. Oh, here's slow dance. There we go. Sorry, you're okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Auto mod catches lots of random stuff. That's what I eat out soon here. It was funny, vulgar, but funny. <laughs> A samooch. I couldn't help it. <laughs> Who that? Oh, Jill Smith. Miss Jill Smith's walking by. She said no. Oh no, she said no. Tony. Uh, Anto. Well, I could call him Tony. I almost just called him Tony without thinking. But that he uh he's been striking out. He's not real smooth with the ladies. He's really not. They just kind of want to eat out. But I'm afraid that the date's gonna go flat if they eat out right now. You know. 
You just admire, back rub, a little flirt. Try a suggestion. Yeah, too much too fast. He's getting desperate. I know. He's like, my children need a, a mommy. Will you be our mommy? <laughs> mommy? Sorry? Mommy? Automat having a fit at that, but allowing two crumb knit. <laughs> two crumb knit? What? Two toke nut rim. <laughs> But your name's Isabella, yeah. <laughs> my mom. Imagine imagine just being on, on a date with creepy Tony. He's like, my mom's name was Isabella. <laughs> she was pretty like you. <laughs> Will you be my new mommy? <laughs> I'm just trying to get there. there. She wants to appreciate him. Let's try a peck and see if it'll work. Oh, it worked. Okay. I guess we'll try... We'll try and eat out a little bit, I guess. <laughs> Buttspot went all silent. Yeah, Buttspot got quiet. No, to Knut Rim is <laughs> Toby's new name. <laughs> Toby has a new name every week at this rate, yeah. <laughs> I hate that. I hope no one ever calls me Bobby. <laughs> The only way that I'm allowed to be called mommy is in reference to olive oil. You... Okay, we're sitting down. This lady has this hair that confuses me. I can never replace this hair. It never works. Something's broken with this hair. It's always this weird mixed coloring. He wants to cheer. He toast to Isabella. Toast. Um, chef's choice. We'll do that. Now, now I've opened up my crackers again. I like Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. Booby. Bobby. Booby. I used to dress my sibs in Isabella dress because I thought it was pretty. Oh, I think I know why you're talking about her default dress. If someone called me mommy, I would incapacitate them with my glare alone. <laughs> oh, now she wants to make out with him. I think this girl is working out for us. Oh, oh god, it froze. I think somebody spawned on the lot. Oh, it's a witch, yeah. Mm -hmm. Roxanne Mansfield. The atrociously evil witch. It's very dark in this restaurant. Let's blow a kiss. I'm gonna finish eating quick before we get too far along here. Okay, that worked as a kiss for her, so that boosted us a little bit. What a dirty joke. See, here's the test. Does she like our dirty jokes? Why am I being shown? Why is it showing me this? The, the witch? Okay. I know the witch is here. Okay, I need you to get up. Time's running out. Our date's doing bad. Daddy, do I look right? Yeah. Get up. Please. Please get up. Oh no, he's disgusting and filthy and dirty and somebody's yelling in the background. Oh, this is this is Bella Goth. Bella's got a braid for some reason. Oh my god, the lightning is a lot. Hello, Miss Bella. She's disgusted by this, this townie playing piano. Yeah, what if her turn on is stank? Also, how did he? How he's not? He's not stinking right now. But when he got out of the chair, did he? Did he just fart in the chair? Ooh, we're almost at a great date. I almost hit fight instead of flirt. That bus behind Bella. <laughs> I didn't see it. Oh yeah, she's creeping. She's like, shut up! I'm listening to the piano. Uh, hug Isabella, give back rub. Oh, 
Why do guys like to be called that? If a man called me mommy, I would freak out. Yeah. Fight, flirt, what's the difference? Oh, Zazma Curious is here. Hello, girly. Hello, girly. Now he's, he's losing interest. He wants a dream date with her, though. We can try and make it happen. Can we, can we make out with her yet? I feel like she might not like it. Oh, no, she liked it. Okay. Do a back rub. Hold hands. We're just trying to do everything we can. She wants to make out with us. That's the only one. We just we haven't got there yet. Which way do you think it's cuter to say mom? Mama or mommy? I think mama. I guess... I guess mama. I don't really know. Miranda? Why is Miranda, like, in disguise over here? She's in, like, a workwear and braids? And a beanie? This is Miranda Cap. What are you doing, Miranda? Why are you wearing these things? You see how much my strange view is a mess because of me just changing things constantly and not fixing things? <laughs> my strange view is a mess. Can we make out yet? We can't make out yet. Oh my god, this lightning's a lot. I could turn it off, couldn't I? Um... Alter weather? There we go. <laughs> Some kings need to be shamed. <laughs> Day Drooper just said it. She's just like, nope. Dance, I guess. We'll do a dance kiss? I don't know. We're trying to- we're running out of time here. We gotta make out. Do you think she'll- do you think if I do propose, go steady, she'll say yes? She might not. Uh, I guess we do a romantic hug. Okay. Probably fast forward this, that'll be easier. Darn it, the time ended. Was that- was that asked to go steady? I think she said yes. Yay, we're going steady with her. That's one step closer. Now he's like, now I can buy a vacation home. <laughs> with your three grand, buddy. Okay, can we- are we gonna do our thing here? There we go. There we go. Not break up. Oops. Let's kiss. Smooch. Flirt, caress. Will she do a caress? We're gonna try and fall in love. Let's, oh, we can make out now. We got a wifey speed run. Okay. She she got her want. These two could have really cute kids. They might end up having some kids. Um, I don't know. Romantic. Uh, squeeze? Sweet talk? Who's doing a whole bunch of stuff? Oh, we made best friends. Oh, was that love? Did love just happen? I think some love happened. I still call my dad daddy Issy in Finnish. Yeah, I'm a Finnish person. I've always called him daddy since I was little. I just can't call him any other name. Yeah, I know a lot of people that... That, like do that as, you know, over time. We can serenade. I think she'd say yes to a proposal. There's no option to propose. Was this an ACR? Kiss up arm? I didn't- I don't think I told him to do that. I might have. Imagine having a dad to call daddy, not this. <laughs> oh no. 
Okay, I don't have the option to make out. I might have to invite her ho home. But maybe we'll, we'll say goodbye or something. I don't know. What's she trying to do? Be serenaded. She's serenading us. She loves us. Absent father club. Oh no. Let's drive home. I'll have him go home. I think Kara was just saying that they were talking about, like, men that like being called daddy. <laughs> I don't even like saying it. <laughs> Not so much about, uh, parents that like being called it. I think that's all it meant. I don't think she meant, like, she was telling you you can't talk about it. <laughs> I think that's what it was. I might have to get up and stretch in a minute. Do a little BRB stretch. My back hurts. I'm gonna get up and do a, do a stretch. And we'll do that as we load back in here. Bum, 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 bum. It's getting hot in my room. It's it's annoying. I I can't. I need the cold weather. Like it's not even cold out, but it still gets warm. Oh no, the mower's on. Not this. Uh oh, sick with the flu. Eighteen hours. He's gone for eighteen hours. Everybody's gone to school. Oh oh no. Where's the house? Where am I at? What's what's going on? Oh my god, I was so confused. I'm like, where are we? What is this? There's going to be a heat wave in the UK on the weekend. Interesting. We have a uh, downpours coming, and then it's supposed to drop the temperatures quite a lot. So it's going to be actually cold the next week, which I am happy for. Unfortunately, the downpours mean that some of our fall colors are going to probably be lost because the leaves get pulled off the trees when the rain and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to do a quick BRB and get up and stretch. Um, <laughs> you're, you're all right, Kara. No, it's fine. Just misunderstandings. That's all. <laughs> it's just misunderstandings. It's your birthday next Friday. Happy early birthday. <laughs> Happy early birthday. Let me find the music I was playing. I'm just gonna let the time go by till everybody gets home anyway, too. Uh, I'll do this. Na -na -na -na. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna do a quick...
The mower might be, uh... <laughs> There's some interest. I like the alternate versions of that song. I like all the alternate versions. Thank you for the welcome back. <laughs> yeah, I like this house. It's a pretty nice house. Yeah, I think they're in the distance a little bit. I think I think. Um, so I didn't build this house. I decorated it. Um, I believe this is one of the default Veronaville houses. I'm pretty sure it's one of like the empty Veronaville houses on like the Monty side. But I did a full makeover. For, like I, I think I changed most of these windows and um, just like redid a bunch of it and just kind of redecorated it. So. But yeah. Anyway, everybody's back here. I'm turning the sound back up. Yeah, we got some folks dinging our bell. Neil Cameron is dinging our bell. I don't know why he's got a secret society outfit on. Yeah, I like the shape and the. I love the uh, that sort of like stucco and like wood and like I don't know. There's something very nice about that style. Um, how don't I have you take a shower? I would like... He wants to be friends with Betty. I think, I'm gonna have him call over Betty. I think I tried to... Oops, I clicked on a light. Hello, can I please call Sim? Also, now Hank... The mower stopped and now Hank's barking. <laughs> you know, normal things. <laughs> yep, mode's fine, Kara. You're all, you're all right. Looks like Spanish style. Yeah, kind of Spanish, kind of, uh... I think that they're supposed to be Mediterranean. Monty, the Monty side is supposed to be very Mediterranean styled. Uh-oh, wistfully stares out window. Oh my, I wonder if I'll ever have a stable internet connection. Oh no. Oh no. Where's... There she is. Let's invite her over. Let's go! Uh, it's always a pleasure to see you. My Antonio's gonna be gone forever. His kids are gonna be like, I don't know where my dad is. Oh, Alan Prout? Apparently somebody brought some kid named Alan over. Look at Alan. Oh, what is the sound Alan's making? Hi, Alan. Look at his tie. Ah. Sure, what, what would you like to request? <laughs> I'm open. I'm open. Depends on what it is, obviously. Kick the flamingo. Um, this one I can't kick because it's the the uh, sim manipulator. Do we have another flamingo? I could put down another one. Oh, we gotta wait for her to ding our bell. <laughs> but I can. We can have a. We have a. Here, let's go eat. I think the the dots. <laughs> what this happens when I click the link? Sight can't be reached. Darn. We could have we could have discovered something. <laughs> it's okay. I could we could we must now I have to. Oh I gotta kick the flamingo. My flamingos are in a different category over here. There we go, look at this. Look at our herd of flamingos. Okay. Well Benedict is having a meltdown in the garden, so it makes sense that he'd kick it. Yeah, I just clicked it too. <laughs> There's nothing. Oh, it took a lot of refreshing to stabilize. Darn. Oh, oh, here's here's Girly. We gotta we gotta interact with Girly. I guess we could join Betty. Do they gain relationship doing this? I don't know if they do. He's very into Betty. Maybe they should talk and like hang out. Let's see if they gain relationship. Oh, they do. Might be able to make friends this way. Alan, Alan's just kind of staring on. Also, traits. I haven't done traits. We gotta do traits. Add missing traits to Benedict. Add missing traits to Sylvia. Add missing traits to Beatrice. There we go. We'll just do that. You're going to get your Sims a dog. I don't think so. They have a kitty. None of them really want it. Oh, she wants, speaking of the pets, she wants to lure, teach Rue to come here. We could do that. Maybe she's a pet girly. 
Okay, everybody's got traits. So what's your added trait? Okay. She is she's so she's neurotic, evil, and loves the heat. She's literally the devil. She's like, I will I her her aspiration is to become the devil. I think the kitty's a girl. Does it tell me somehow? Is it like when I look at them in the relationship panel? It is a girl. Okay, what did the twins get? What is what is your traits? God, they got lucky, neurotic, absent-minded, and erratic. What did Benedict get? Lucky, good sense of humor, loser. Wait, he's lucky, but he's a loser. He's a vehicle enthusiast. And he has a serving platter of baked Alaska? He must have bought this from the Monty... Uh, the Monty uh, Bakery. Okay. Dinner is served. Dad's out on a date. It's okay. We got we got baked Alaska. Everybody come eat. Have a blast. Are we friends yet? I think I'm gonna have her him stop. Um can we kiss? Did they already have a first kiss? I don't have first kiss option. Kiss hand? What is that? That doesn't seem like a familiar option. Hmm. Um, Flirt Charm. Me, I'm also uh, going to play my Uberhood. Also me, spends an hour and a half redecorating the Dreamer house. Honestly, relatable. That's like whenever I try to play The Sims 3 on my own, I just don't ever even play, I just goof around, like, design and make a new sim or build a house or do something, like, or redecorate a, a living space or something. Okay, we're friends now. She wants to be, he wants to be BFFs. Can we, like, propose... Give pet... Oh no, you want my cat? <laughs> Not this. Oh, ooh, a crush has formed. I'm surprised she didn't have a crush already. Can we do a dance kiss? Oh, sorry. I had it up, probably had it up in the wrong spot there. Yeah, my stupid fidget thing. You know Sims 3. Mind turning... Uh, since turning off aging... Story progression, my game has been running a little smoother. Interesting. That's kind of neat. <laughs> Don't apologize, I love. I have a whole neighborhood in The Sims 3 that's just empty houses, wow. I have the opposite issue where I wish I could decorate, but I simply... Oh, there we go. But I am simply not good at it, so every Sim gets the same interior design. Well, that's okay. Oh, that's not our girlfriend. Oh, she's eating... Don't eat that! We have baked Alaska! Oh my god, he's gotta serve it. Get off- don't! Your girlfriend's eating filthy, disgusting mess. I'm deleting it. I'm deleting it. You can't do it, Betty. I can't do it, Betty. I can't do it, Betty. I miss the Sims 3 fairies. Fairies are interesting. I don't play them a lot. I don't like the fairy wings. Are there defaults for fairy wings? Because I would like those. I hate the Sims 3 story progression because I'm a control freak. Yeah. Maybe I should try playing it without with story progression off, like when I play on my own. That could be interesting. I have to read that one out loud, though. To be fair, baked Alaska that has been marinating in a teenage boy's pocket would not be the most appealing. <laughs> you're correct. <laughs> I think you're correct. Okay, now I can call the meal, everyone. <laughs> the Sims 3 phrase, the wings are just, I don't like how they look personally. I don't like the weird glow and the colors are just a little bit too like strong or something. Oh, there are. I feel like I've seen something that gets rid of the, the glow. I'll have to look into defaults. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Something about them I just don't like. I'd almost rather, I don't know. 
They'd be smaller and not so like sparkly and glowy and stuff, I guess. Uh oh, Sylvia's got the flu. Can I ask her on it to be go steady? There we go. We got a girlfriend. Uh oh. He's he's hacking on the baked Alaska. Baked Alaska. Does anyone remember the? Oh no, not the Nutty Perry. <laughs> Does Nut one remember the Nutty Perry? <laughs> the Katy Perry. Yikes! I think everybody wants to forget the Katy Perry Sims three pack. <laughs> For a long time, I thought that was a fever tree. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of wild. Oh my god, we're gonna ask go steady. Yeah, I mean, I think it's valid to like them. I think that's fine. They're just, I don't know, they're just not for me. Um, okay, we are now a thing. I guess they'll just- I'll just let him do their thing, because he seems to be interacting. What did she- what did she want? Oh, play kicky bag, okay. Um... Are you going around this way? Interesting. Are you very- you're very uncomfortable or something? You want to go to the- okay, you're going to the bathroom. Where is Sylvia? I feel like I'm not- oh. I feel like I don't have good control over this household? Um... And now Sylvia's hacking up along. That was a rough one. That was a rough one. I think I'll let her go to sleep. Oh god, what did Buttspot do? If they start thinking of tombstones, we're in trouble, yes. Although I have now have the updates um, that tells me if they're getting close to dying. If they start thinking of tombstones, we're a nut nut! <laughs> I don't think we're a nut anymore. Need to play. I love playing the Supernaturals. I don't play them enough, even even though I like them. Also, thank you, Komi, for sending the replacement in the Discord. Coughing like an iPad kid <laughs> in the background of of their mom's work call. <laughs> okay, are you gonna? Oh, you're gonna tuck her in. She needs social. Maybe I'll have her call. Is Alan still here? Is Alan still kicking around? Let's make friends with Alan. Go friendly. <laughs> like the photoshopped image of the Calvary cat mean. Nutty Perry would be an awesome townie. That's that's a good idea. God, that's really loud. The Sims 3 werewolves have beautiful glowing eyes. That's true. I don't I don't mind their glowing eyes. Sometimes it messes up the eye color. Also, because I have custom eyes, sometimes it like doesn't sit right on them. Uh, I had to go make dinner. I miss anything big. Hmm, I guess we did get so Mr. Antonio did go out on a date. He's off the lot right now. See, it's Monday again. It's showing us on Monday, but I swear we were on like Wednesday. What happened? That doesn't seem right. Why are we on Monday? Was it when I exited? Did I, did I, like, exit and not save and it ended up on Monday or something? I thought we came back right where we left off. I'm gonna change the day to Wednesday. Oh, that's not it. We're gonna make it Wednesday. I don't care. I don't understand why I did that. Um, but yeah, Antonio went on a date and he found a girly. The only thing is the girly he found is named Isabella, which is the same name as his mom. His mom's name. <laughs> but that's the only other thing I can think of. You can play fetch with them and scold them with a newspaper book. Oh, newspaper bonk. What was that? Uh, I didn't know there was werewolves in the in three. Yes, there, is a, there are definitely werewolves in the, number three. <laughs> okay, you do know about Isabel. Okay. Yep, that's that's pretty much the main big thing. The kids are just doing their thing and making friends and, and doing stuff and things. These two are getting along well. Uh, iPad kid is sleeping. Little, little Sylvia the iPad kid is chilling out, sleeping. Um... 
Yeah, the Sims 3 hairstyles can be a little rough. Some of them aren't bad, but some of them are pretty rough. Yeah, the Sims, uh, the Sims 4 werewolves, I'm not a fan. <laughs> not a huge fan. <laughs> the imaginary friend is wild. They're like creepy. <laughs> How can we make that a Calicundia adoption kid? Wait, we need a Calicundia kid that's literally just named iPad kid. <laughs> we need a new Calicundia kid that's just named iPad kid. Edward and Bella remake. Wait, in my Sims 3 Legacy save, I have aliens, Simbot, genie, imaginary friends turn into real Sims. I need a werewolf Sim. Ah. There you go. Is there a tablet in the Sims 2? Uh, not in the base game, because of course when it came out, tablets didn't exist yet, but I don't know, there's probably conversions. Probably. I played, um, three mostly as a young teen, so I feel like I didn't, I didn't get to explore full potential, yeah. <laughs> I have an iPad kid right now watching this stream. <laughs> okay, thank you for cleaning up. Maybe you could go to sleep now? You just- didn't you just eat? I'm gonna bump her hunger a little. There we go. Actually, I could have had her go to the bathroom. Why don't I have her use the bathroom? I feel like we should try and have a proper birthday for these children when they age to adult. Of, of some kind. Some kind of proper birthday. How about you go to sleep too? It's midnight. You're asleep, and, uh, Tony is still off the lot for five hours. Sylvia's on the brink of recovery. Okay. Alan is still creeping around. Oh, Betty's still here. Oops, I forgot. I'm gonna save real quick. I will save. Bum, ba, rum, ba, rum, bum, bum. Hurry up and save the game. <laughs> need a baby, need a, yeah, we need a Calicundia baby named Belly Aches. <laughs> Belly Aches the iPad kid. <laughs> It'd be a little like cowboy. <laughs> like, like the kid. The iPad kid. Jackie and I three converted a little Tamagotchi, so they're probably not far off from getting tablets. Ooh, that's interesting. I oh, let me fast forward here. My partner brought a spare PC part to see if they'd fit on my motherboard, and sadly, no. Oh no, I'm stuck with lag in Sims 3 until I upgrade the motherboard. Oh no. It's, really silly. it's not that hard to do the upgrade parts. I think a lot of people get more scared of it than, you know, as long as you just follow a tutorial real well, <laughs> you do pretty good. I, I would need pigtails for sure and big eyeballs for iPad sharing. <laughs> or staring, not sharing. <laughs> Rule number one of iPad Kid, do not share the iPad. Also, Tony's finally back from his adventures. He's been gone for a while. He's been gone for a while. Okay, the kids are getting close to recovering. Where are you all getting up? Oh, it's 6 a.m. That was quite a noisy awakening. I need you to also clean this and then take a shower. Police. I'm scared of, of breaking something because of the pins and parts are so fragile. I'm scared of losing myself. Yeah, I'd say definitely do any backing up that you can. Um, I feel like when I've handled stuff, it's not as fragile as you expect. The way she yelled at him and he just said, okay, fine, and put the trash right on the ground. That was very passive-aggressive of him. Okay, can we take a shower in here? Can you not interact with the cat? Does the cat need food, by the way? Here, come down and fill the bowl. I hate that my Sims 3 female Sim has pigtails hairstyle. She's bathing or showering. I think, well, if you have the... NRAAS mods where you can click on them and go into like create a sim you should be able to change that um, also I don't know if the nude sim the nude hair comes from their like swimsuit hair so like if you looked at the swimsuit the sim swimsuit if if she has pigtails then then maybe you could uh, you can change it and it might help I don't remember exactly I've been looking for a pre-built PC 
Oh, same here. I'm afraid of putting something that doesn't belong and ruining the whole thing. Yeah, that's why, yeah, it's important to definitely research the parts to make sure they're all compatible and everything. I say all this and I build my PC from scratch, so I've done it before. Oh, <laughs> but it was before I had a bunch of data. Yeah, I guess it'd be a matter, of, like I said, backing up and making sure everything's safe and all of that. Um, I need somebody to have some breakfast. I don't know if we're gonna get it before before the bus comes. I think the bus is right about to show up. Okay, you haven't even slept. Luckily, he doesn't have to work today. He's been out, like, for hours on a date. And he hasn't even slept. Um, Oberon and Beatrice are no longer besties. That's a, that's a crime. Oh, you gotta go to school, kid. Also, this child sleeps in, in jeans. So that's something. Alright, you're headed all... She's... Okay, I'm gonna have you just stop for now. Sorry you didn't get to finish your cereal. So what do we got? How many... One day till teenager. Does that mean today? Hello again, Owly. <laughs> I took a nap on accident. That's not a bad thing. Sometimes... Sometimes na uh, accidental naps, surprise naps. Maybe it's more of a... Maybe you should say it's a surprise nap, not an accident nap. Also... I don't think there, there aren't any fake children on this bus. There's just a creepy smiling lady. But there's no fake children like on that other bus. Imagine if there was one like hiding down in the back. Ooh, I need to like zoom out here. So I don't know why, like why not? Why would we not fill this full of creepy fake children? You know? Do, the, do you see the kids sitting on the bus when they get in here? No, they just disappear. Oh god, jump scare. <laughs> I like Crystal Path. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't want to say right now. <laughs> just Dreamer in the back, exactly. Just there. To that sitting at the back, yeah. Oh god. Alright, let me fast forward and let him sleep. Let him sleep. What is the lighting going on in here? What is this? Oh, we're probably gonna pay bills soon. I wonder if he's got any love letters. I think we should... Should we invite... I think we should invite his wifey over. His future wifey. Why do I have... Oh, I don't have... I just realized that I don't have my... Like, the the hood deco that makes it have, like, an edge in a sky and everything. Can't wake up. No. Uh, there's a bunch of dreamer, dreamers sitting in there. Just a bunch. Just make little, like... I could. I wish I could edit it and make just, like, a bunch of little, like, 2D cutout looking, like, just, like, little PNG sprites or whatever. <laughs> just little... little Girlies, I'm gonna ignore this. I don't feel like reading it. I'm sorry. But prize money. Nobody in this house does their homework. It's kind of a problem. This kid wants to. I'm gonna lock that in. She needs to come and do her homework. What is that? That's not the bills. Oh, that's the bills. Oh. I thought it was something else for some reason. A custom painting of Cursed Dreamer. That's what I need to do. I need to start releasing series of Calicundian photos <laughs> as like I could make like actual recolors. <laughs> that teddy bear's eyes. Which one? Is there one up here? This one here? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of creepy. I assume that's what you meant. He's like a little bit spooky. He's a little haunted. He's a little, oh, Alan's back. Welcome back, Alan. It seems you've uh, returned. Is Beatrice actually maybe secretly into Alan? She wants to be besties with Alan. He wants to be besties with Betty. So is it, it might not be today that they age up. I don't know. The side profile is a jump scare. Chrissy, wake up. I don't like this. I used to have that as a alert, a sound alert. But I got in trouble on the YouTubes because it's a copyrighted song. 
<laughs> but I like that one. Or like, um, what they did with Vidkin Museum, yeah. Calicundia Museum. <gasps> uh oh. He's scolding her for bad grades, I guess. Look at- as her- like with her pile of workbooks. Oh, look at how- look at her homework. Her just pile of homework on the ground, but like they just don't care. They don't want to do it. Oh my god, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six? Look at his little- look at- look at Antonio's grippers. Look at Antonio's little crunchy grippers, man. But oh my god, there's so much homework. She's doing none of it. <laughs> those things. Not <laughs> the crush. Put those grippers away. Okay. Well, she still doesn't want to do her homework. Okay, and you're just doing that. Hey, Marco Polo. He wants to be besties with Betty. We could clean this up. Somebody got to clean this up. Somebody must be cleaning it up. Okay, you're doing that. Are you trying to eat that? No, you're not. No, you're not. Clean up. <laughs> drippers. Put those drippers away. <laughs> Put those. <laughs> I like the. I like the drippers. That, is it? Is it when you go swamming? When you go swamming, your grippers turn into drippers. <laughs> is that what happens? I'm going back to bed. <laughs> I gotta move. I gotta. I gotta adjust myself here. <laughs> Gripper grippers, sweaty grippers. No, I hate it. I hate this. I want to leave. I would like to. I guess we'll invite future wifey over and just try to make some progress. See if she'll become engaged. Maybe we can marry her right in here now. Let's call everybody to meal. Oh, Alan is helping himself. Alan said, I will have one of those sandwiches. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Alan took one half of the sandwich in one bite. Here, everybody come eat. Oh, you're home now. Here, why don't you come down and eat? You're not even really hungry. Somebody come eat. Oh, not open windows. How do these windows open? Oh. Alright, I didn't mean do that. I'm gonna eat. And then she's gonna do her homework. I'm gonna have her do her homework. Alan is definitely a Vidkin stand. He's got Vidkin posters hanging up. I bought a pre-built and I'm happy with it. I haven't tried The Sims 3 on it though. I don't like the way The Sims look. I have to add tons of mods and I want to, but I don't have the energy. Yeah, I get that. I've enjoyed using... Like, I use a lot of, like, default skin, default eyes, stuff like that. Um, but I also have enjoyed just using retextures of the Maxis hairs, rather than getting a bunch of custom hairs, just sticking with, like, retextures. It, it, it really uh, improves the look of the hair quite a lot. Are you gonna sit down? Oh, that was interesting. She decided to sit down after she already started eating. Okay. Who are you? Wait, who are you? Where did you come from? <laughs> There's a Victorian child here. See so high. Hi. Hi, buddy. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> Thank you for the look. Have some, have some good ravioli. I, I assume she brought him fresh. I didn't see the message. I like his little outfit. Look at his little outfit. He's whistling. Alright, you, you ate enough of that sandwich. Go talk to Cecil. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, I've, I've done a lot of work in getting, uh... Getting, getting my Sims 3 to decent. Looking decent. I know Cecil's actually a ghost. <laughs> Cecil's actually a little ghost. Unfortunately, he's got the blue tinted black hair, which I don't like, but it is what it is. Yeah, why are you haunting this house? Yeah, I have the mod lighting, I have reshade, I have a ton of fixes and adjustments, like, a lot of time into it, which, like, I get that not everybody can do that. Like, it's, it's hard. Okay, I really want her to do her homework, though. Is this hers? Oh, this isn't hers. It's here. Mower is approaching. 
Beatrice is sick again? Okay, these flus... The flus are driving me nuts. The flus are driving me nuts. Everybody's sick with something. The amount of times the kid jump scared me because I didn't see the pop-up, yeah. Ugh. I'm tired of all my sims being sick, man. Oh god, her eyes just like went inside out for a second. Oh my god. I don't know what the flu is originally from. I have mods that affect how it acts, but I don't actually... Oh no! She, she, she aged up in the bathroom with Cecil just staring at her. Cecil, Cecil has cornered her in the bathroom and she's aging up. <laughs> Cecil. Cecil. <laughs> Privacy, Cecil. That's quite an outfit, ma'am. Okay, he's. I just heard him age up too. Who else is gonna age? Ooh, should her. Should Alan. Should we age Alan or Elvis? Al Elvis is the one she was dating, but maybe we should date. Age Alan. I don't know any of these other kids. Hmm. What do we do? Let's do Alan. Why not? Uh, I don't think there's anybody. We're not gonna have age Betty. So. There I go. Cecil, back up. Cecil staring directly into her soul. Oh my God! Nina's calling him to go downtown. I think we gotta do it. I think we gotta go. Oh God. Where are we gonna go? <laughs> Let's drop a deuce and age up in peace. Not this. I don't know what this is. Lund Lundos? Head chef? I don't think I really care about going to like a sit down place. Let's go to, to a nightclub. Well, I did want to do some makeovers, but now he's gonna leave the lot, so this is gonna be. I might be able to get her to. What's she trying to do? Family kiss? Ew, why are you kissing your adult brother? Stop. What are you doing? I don't like that. It's your twin. She's trying to just, she's following him around trying to kiss him. He's brushing his teeth. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Um, Gussie up. Let's see what's in the- is, this, is there anything in the closet already? Sometimes I like to- oh. She's a witch. Sometimes I like to just see what's already in here. That's not bad. What's this? What do we got? A little skirt. Some shorts. Mm, I might still get her something. I'll just do this and then I'll find her- maybe I'll find her pants or something. Buy- oh, buy clothes every day. See if I can do this before her father leaves and kicks us off the lot. <laughs> she could have some cool flares. Or just some- some sandals. I don't know what her vibe is. Maybe I could find her- ooh, maybe she's got a nice dress. I gotta give her her extra traits and stuff. Like, I don't know who these kids are as a character. Like, I just don't know. These are cool dresses. I don't get to use these dresses much. Maybe I need to use one of these. Hmm. Kind of like this one. Let's see how that one looks on her. That was kind of neat. Why not? Oh! <laughs> I was gonna try and do other stuff. <laughs> okay, we got kicked off the lot. <laughs> we got kicked off. What if we end up reconnecting with Nina and, and getting engaged to Nina? I don't know, man. Also, I just saw the message here. I don't get why you don't like the blue and, and black hair. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I just don't like how, it, I just don't think it looks great. But I mean, at the same time, sometimes I just deal with it a lot of times. With the blue-black shade. I just prefer like a true blue. I mean, a true black, not a true blue. 
Taking our taking our delivery truck to midnight flows, rolling up to the club in that in that rig. Here we are. Delivery truck. Oh, he's crawling out. Who's gonna come with us? Is it just her? No, we got more people. Oh god. Oh god. Here we go. Who's who? Who's who's coming? Who's joining? Yeah, it's just easier. I mean, there's times where I get the motivation. That's I can also tell that's Daniel Pleasant before we even get anywhere. Right? <laughs> that's Daniel. Um, I like the concept of, of Olive Pleasant View just loading up into Antonio's van, <laughs> delivery van, to go to the club. <laughs> they're just they're all in the back. <laughs> there's Daniel. Who's next? That looks like a Pleasant girly. That's Lilith Pleasant. Okay. <laughs> That's who are you? That's 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 Dirk uh, Dustin broke. Okay, <laughs> there's a lot happening. <laughs> Somehow, okay. So we got Dustin broke. We got L Lilith Lilith Pleasant and Daniel Pleasant, who apparently were both in a relationship with Nina, and now are upset that she's flirting with Antonio. Uh. <laughs> They get out of the seat. I know they're all climbing up into that seat to get out. And of course, Don Lothario's here. What is going on? There's so much happening in this one scene. Look at, look at Lilith's face. Look at Daniel's face. I need a screenshot of this. There's so what? It, why? You guys, Daniel, why are you upset? <laughs> but why? You're literally the home wrecker to end all home wreckers. We got, we got, okay, so we got Dom Afari, we got Bella Goth. Literally, Pleasant View just loaded up into Antonio's van. Oh my god, I'm trying to zoom out. Is that it? Is that the crew? Her, Lilith's face is stuck. <laughs> Lilith's face is stuck like this. I need to take a picture of that. She's just like disgusted. Oh, now she, oh my god. And now she thinks Bell everybody thinks Bella's hot. Oh my god. This is a mess. This is a joke. What if Antonio marries Bella? Okay. Let's have him scope and see who he picks as being the hottest. He, he's he's showing attraction towards Bella. No, it's Nina. Nina and Bella. Well, who does he say is hot? Nina's hot. Okay. Let's give her a good old smooch. Everybody wants Nina. <laughs> Antonio, if if the entire entirety of Pleasant View gets out of the van and screams at N your date for cheating on them, maybe it's a bad idea. Maybe she's maybe that's a red flag. Maybe she's not it. Is she getting into the who's she? There's so much happening. She's in the... She's getting... Nina just got in here with Don. Don Lothario's in here with Nina. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> he just got kicked out. She kicked him out. He just got kicked out. <laughs> What's happening? Oh. His little feet are on the rink. He's gonna get run over. She apparently did not. She was not on board for that. Yeah, he was. You went in with him. Okay, let's give her a smoochie. Give her a kiss. What? Well, move out of the way, Don. That's our lady. I forgot that this place is this skating rink, and I kind of don't love it because like the routing's a little tight in a couple places. Oh my god, the fast-forward zone. Who's mad now? <laughs> Lilith, please. Why are you so mad? Can we calm down? Let's do a dance kiss. Do a joke. Oh my god, Lilith. This is chaos. This is so... She's having a tantrum! <laughs> How dare you clip into me? <laughs> she just she won't stop. I think there's a glitch. Somebody's. She's trying to get to her. 
Lily, please. Oh, oh my God. Lily, <laughs> girly, what's wrong? Oh my. What did we not already do this? Uh, the way the way Nina walked over and said, "If you if I let you slap me, will you shut up?" <laughs> if I let you slap me. I want to, I want him to be like, able to, oh my god, can we, can we just take a, a moment to breathe? Oh my god, why is it constant? Why are we, why? I thought we already did this. <laughs> We've already been through this. I thought we were f clear. Are we not in the clear? Oh my god, Nina's not going to have any foundation left on her face after this. Maybe this is the moment where Nina decides to change her ways and become a family sim. Look at Daniel's face. <laughs> this feels like an episode of The Office or something. Like, we're like, they're dancing and it's just like panning over to Daniel. <laughs> what are we doing, Daniel? What's wrong, Daniel? What's wrong? I'm gonna take your picture. There we go. His face is stuck again. These stuck faces. Yeah, I know. Like, wh I already cheated. Why are you mad at me doing it constantly? What's going on? Hello, Antoni. Oh, Donovan Dixon. Hi, Donovan Dixon. <laughs> His face is stuck still. This is ridiculous. This is wild. Nina, Nina wanted this. I think Nina wanted this. Like, why else would she do this? Why else would she invite all of her lovers out at once? Other than to get the attention. Like, I think this is her... She... she... she likes it. <laughs> She's into this. Okay, can we... I think we've done enough. I want her... I want them to be able to, like... I want him to try and propose to her, but it's not an option. <gasps> love! We're in love! Okay. Does that mean I can propose now? Why can't I propose to her? Wait, let me make her selectable real quick. She's not engaged to anybody, right? I guess not. Okay. I thought that maybe... I don't know why I can't propose to her. I'm not sure why that would happen. Oh, maybe the game thinks he's married? That's true. That's right, because... Well, his wife shows is dead, but maybe... I wonder if there's a way I could fix that if I were to drop down like a like a sim blender and set him to be unmarried or something but I'd have to wait family oh okay there's no family ties to her so that's not it I guess I couldn't do that because I'd have to Unless I found his wife. His wife's name was Hero. Yeah, we don't have any options for that. I guess I can't really do that either. Maybe Nina's married, yeah. I have that relationship finder thing too, but I don't know. I, I ran it on this hood already once. What's going on over here? Why am I getting a bubble over here? Who's doing what over here? Oh. This random townie got fit. Okay. Okay, I didn't know this was going to be an ice skating rink, so I'm not, I'm not crazy about this. I wonder if I have to be, like, on my home lot or something? Uh-oh, no wife for Darren, but he just got abducted, so... Honestly, pretty much the same thing. You know? Pretty much the same thing. I don't know what to do with these two if I can't try and engage them. Oh, you know why? I bet I know why. Because we're... Because we're technically going steady with that other chick. We're going steady with, with Isabella. That's why. So, we probably, you know, flagged as being taken. Maybe? Because I have the, the mod where, like, adults go steady or whatever. It's loud in this place. Uh, Don and Bella are going at it. They're so into Bella. What is, I feel like this is just like... I don't know. This feels like we're, we're in some kind of swingers club. Like, what's going on here? 
You want to, you want to tickle? I don't know what to do with y'all. I think we need to just go home. Because y'all are just being weird and chaotic. But, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that's why. So, I don't know. Maybe it'll just be that Antonio marries the other girlie and has a little side chick. Uh, Dirk just laughed at Darren falling out of the UFO. That seems correct. He thinks he, th he thinks his dad's troubles are funny. Miss Crumplebottom is coming on in. What are you doing, Miss Crumplebottom? Why are you going in here? Why are you... Miss Crumplebottom? Miss Crumplebottom, can I help you? Is Miss Crumplebottom going to use the urinal? Why is she... Why is Miss Crumplebottom, like... Ma'am? Can I help you? And why is this guy standing outside of our... Like, there's two other stalls, sir. <laughs> There's two other stalls. Look at this guy. He's, he's got his little belly out. Look at his little old man belly. He's got his little old man belly. <laughs> ha, you got probed. Awkward. What is going on? Let's flirt with Mrs. Crumplebottom. Maybe Mrs. Crumplebottom's our one true love. Mrs. Crumplebottom, come back. Come back here, Miss Crumplebottom. She got a little crop top. She's waiting to scold the man for peeing. Oh, he just grabbed her. <laughs> he just grabbed her butt. She was not into it. She was not into it. <laughs> now we're gonna have to nag her. Let's nag her. I'm just, I'm torturing this crumple bottom. The way she reacts, because she's so, like, stiff. Just grow, but old woman. <laughs> She's just turning around and walking away. Okay, I think it's time for us to leave, Tony. Let's go home, Tony. Come on, Tony. What are you doing in here? Better not be the devil's business. <laughs> she was walking in to check for like the smell of marijuana. <laughs> okay, now what's going on? I'm hearing, I'm hearing hearts failing. What is? <laughs> that sounded weird. Who's losing love now? Okay. I think they tried to woohoo again, and she kicked him out again, and now she's acting like she's gonna throw up. She's- it's, oh, yeah. She, he had another failed woohoo attempt. Why- why do you keep going in there with him, Nina? <laughs> what are you doing? Why? Oh god, everybody's getting back into our van. Imagine if everybody comes home. They don't. They just kind of disappear, but it'd be funny if everybody comes home with us. Look at them all loading up. Now gotta load up. What's the back of our van look like? Imagine if you actually could see him in there. That'd be so funny. But you, I know they can't. But oh god, look at the texture. There's some wheels. There's like a little door. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look like the Scooby Gang getting in the mystery machine. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a- what that, that- I don't know what to- I don't know what to say about that adventure. I don't know what to say. It's- I, I'm speechless. I don't know what just happened. I feel like I just had a fever dream. What was that? <laughs> what was that? I kind of don't mind uh, Benedict's outfit. I think his outfit's okay. I gotta check their PJs. How do they all fit in the van? Good question. I mean, I guess there's a lot of space in the back. That was something. <laughs> Is Antonio traumatized after tasting Pleasant View? <laughs> Not tasting Pleasant View. Okay, we got this. Let me, um... Should we change her hair? I think I want to change her hair. Because, you know, she's had this hair like her entire- Oh, here's Alan. Alan aged up. Maybe Alan's our one true love. What should her hair be? I usually have her hair like a little wave to it. Like a good hair for her. That's super cute. Kind of covers her eyes a little bit. Hmm.
<laughs> Imagine all of them crawling, <laughs> clawing each other's eyes out, stuffed in the back of the van. They're just like groping each other and, and screaming and yelling and just, oh my god. That would be absurd. This one's kind of nice. Hmm. 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 I don't know. Ah, onto the pleasant household. <laughs> I'll be ready to play them in three hours. <laughs> oh no. I don't like this big chunk on this one. I'm very fussy. Maybe she could. She has. Maybe she's letting her hair be natural. She's learned how to style her hair in, in its natural state. She's got all the curls. Who's that chunk hair for Ivy Co. Purr? Oh, okay. Yeah, I know who you mean. I'm pretty sure that's her name. I kind of like this curly hair on her. Maybe I'll just go with that. I'm tired of finding. Oh, I should have done some makeup too, but that's okay. Worry about another time. Oop. We are taking a moment. We are taking a moment to. There we go. Honestly, I think Antonio. I, I, oh, oh, oh! <laughs> the brother hacking in the background. He was just like <laughs> in the background. <laughs> These are true love. The first kiss. First kiss, Alan. Oh my God, Antonio's on. Antonio's in the brink of recovery. Antonio's not here. Okay, well, she wants to flirt. We can do a flirt, or maybe we'll try a charm. Charm's usually a safer bet. What is this? Network? Wait, not him networking. Everybody's got the flu. This flu is broken. Thank you. Wait. <laughs> Not this. Hi, Beatrice. You know, I think you really hit it off with this person I know. I'd love to set you up on a blind date right here and now. Are you interested? <laughs> He's like, he was like, that was not a good kiss, and I don't want to be with you. I have an idea. I'm going to say yes. I just got to know who it is. I got to know who it is. <laughs> Alan, how could you? Alan! Alan, how could you? Alan was recruiting. Alan was recruiting for his, his old man friend to get a lady all, all along. <laughs> he said, I saw you have one bolt after kissing. I'm like, mm, never mind. Alan, how could you? Well, now we gotta greet him. Can we talk to him at least? Here, stop. Don't just, just go talk to him. Also, why is Bianca Monty here? Bianca, where did you come from? Why are you here, Bianca? Bianca's like, I need to know what's going on in this household. Uh, Bianca's into the old man. Maybe Bianca needs the old guy. Also, hi, Bianca. What's up? She's on a date with the old man. I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> I love these random things like this. You never know where it'll, where it'll end up. Listen to Dirty Joke. Auntie Bianca came over to tell you a dirty joke on your 18th birthday. Also, C Cecil is still here. And he's he's strangling our cat. No, he's actually, he seems like the cat likes him. <laughs> Sir? I'm gonna go around this one. I'm gonna delete this just because we don't need it right now. I need more lights out here. Play with Matthew. Like, what is? Oh, not Kiki Bag. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but okay, that's fine. I wanted them to tickle, but I guess, I guess. Okay. Oh, she can't tell dirty joke yet. What does he want? He's a knowledge sim. He wants to get fit. He wants to be tickled by Beatrice. Be dance with Beatrice. <laughs> 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 Same energy as when a townie set Benedict on, up on a date. 
He's getting my game and the date was Don Lothario. That's so funny. Oh no. Oh my gosh, Don Lothario the Bi Queen. King? <laughs> Bi Queen? Don Lothario Bi Queen? <laughs> tell dirty joke. We need to tell a joke. I gotta tell dirty jokes. Appreciate. Maybe she needs maybe she needs a, a sugar daddy. Trans Lothario. <laughs> Well, the delay. Oh no. Yeah, it's not coming up. I haven't heard it yet. Did I- did it just play? Or did the sound not play? I didn't even- maybe I didn't hear it. Um... Yeah, I don't know. This, that sound didn't play. I'm gonna cancel- I'm gonna refund you that, Kara. Cause it didn't- oh, it did it play? Oh! I didn't hear it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Okay. I don't know what to think of- We don't even have very good bolts with Matthew. He wants to flirt with him. I'm just gonna let it happen. This is strange. I made ravioli, but I burned my fingers. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh god. We have a- We've, we've had some things happen, Daydreamer. I don't know if you were lurking to listen in to the chaos, but things- some serious crap happened while you were gone. Some serious things happened. Uh, kiss. Heck. It's my internet delay, okay. <laughs> I guess that's a good way to gauge it. Usually what I go by- I like it- one thing I actually like when a streamer has their- the chat on screen I can, like, see what my chat's doing and see what, like, their on-screen chat's doing, and I can compare, like, the delay of the video versus... Because usually the chat is, like, more up-to-date than the than the stream. <laughs> what do we want to do? We want to give him a back rub? Oh my god, we have three bolts with this man! <gasps> They're autonomously woohooing in their dad's bed! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm having a- I don't know what's happening! One of the raviolis burst and I was trying to get a little ravioli bits out of the water. Oh no, and some of the water got my fingers. Oh no. You had to frantically help a gecko out of your room? Oh no. <laughs> I hope the gecko's okay. <laughs> Beatrice, don't woohoo with this strange man! Yeah, they aged up. So like the te the two teenagers aged up. Who's fighting outside? Okay, so it was like a wild gecko. I wasn't sure if it was like a pet gecko or a wild one. Um They the teenagers aged up. Then Antonio got a call from Nina to go out on a downtown outing. He went, all of Pleasant View showed up. They kept slapping each other and then trying to woohoo with each other and then slapping each other some more. It was- it was chaos. We left. <laughs> we came back. Beatrice had a first kiss with Alan, who immediately after the first kiss- I don't even know where Alan went. Oh, he's over here drinking tea. Mr. Alan Prout. They had a first kiss. And then, immediately after the first kiss, Alan says, Hey, I have a friend that I think he would be on a gr great for a blind date. And he brought us this old man. And now they're about to woohoo. We're about to get pregnant from the old man. And that's where we're at. <laughs> Antonio is healthy again. Okay. Oh, she's getting up. She said second thoughts. <gasps> second thoughts. Okay, I guess not. She changed her mind. <laughs> Matthew Smith, this old man. <laughs> One chemistry. You've been saved. You've been saved. Okay, appreciate give back rope. She had- she had second thoughts. She's smarter than we thought. Oh! <laughs> Oberon's calling for Beatrice. He's like, Beatrice, don't do it. Beatrice, don't do it. <laughs> the drama and the trauma. <laughs> did- wait, did he just- Oh, you did the same one. I was like, did- did F Knut Futebot just, like, repeat itself? No. Give him a smooch. What does he want? He wants to appreciate. He wants to dance. Do a little slow dance. He wants to hug. <laughs> oh, 
There we go. We got any new wants? She's losing interest in- oh, he wants to make out with her. They are like... crazy for each other. What is her turn-ons? Oh, she likes beards. Oh, she likes facial hair. She likes f fat people with facial hair. <laughs> so we got fatten this guy up for her. Interesting. <laughs> you got four bolts. Oh no, Bagel Swag. He's coming to you. He's knocking on your door next. <laughs> Alan's gonna come over next. If you see Alan come by, turn him away. <laughs> There's one bolt of chemistry to endanger where the sim manipulator flamingo. <laughs> oh goof. <laughs> oh goff. Oh goff. Sometimes you just gotta go off. Um, and then you. What are we doing here? What What is happening here? None of them want to move out either. So I'm kind of just letting them chill. I mean, eventually they could. We could probably give them like a different room because like they, like how are we gonna, I can zoom out here. I feel like we need to adultify their rooms, though. But the thing is, is she shares this room with her little sister. <laughs> I need therapy, I guess. <laughs> this, the, Kanat Futa said, yes, please. Take the psychiatrist. Please. <laughs> Pocket baked Alaska. Three bolts. Very good. Very good. Maybe we need, like, a little guest house out here. I don't know. How do I want to sort this out? It feels weird to have the two siblings, like, living in the same room together, though. Maybe I need to... We have one bathroom down here. We have one up here. What if I cut back one bathroom? That feels like it might be a little rough, though. i just like to do something a little different. Hmm. We just kind of delete most of this stuff. Make it light out. Can leave these up. <laughs> Sweaty Canut Alaska. <laughs> Sweaty Canut Alaska. That's a that's a word. <laughs> One bolt, four bolts of chemistry between Ali Pip and Canut Futa. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good start. What if we gave... What if we have another double bed in here? Actually, let me just... Well, what's the double bed over here? Oh, it's this fancy one. Maybe we won't go that fancy. We'll do... Something different. We could do, like, this style bed, maybe. A little bit more quick and easy. Hmm. <laughs> Sweaty Nut Alaska? <laughs> Sweaty Nut Alaska. Mm, I'll give him a funky bed. I guess. I don't really know what we're going for here. Five bolts. Ellie Pip also needs therapy, apparently. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we'll give him that. I don't think I like that. I just want to make a simple bed. I just want a simple bedroom. What am I going to do? Maybe we'll just do these modern ones. Do that. Um, there we go. This is this is Benedict's room, but I don't know how I'm gonna do the other room. Is Benedict? I feel like Benedict probably has this. <laughs> this is Benedict's room. There we go. Look at that. It's beautiful.
Does anyone actually ever use? I think I've used it once or twice, but it's like rare because it's like pretty much the the it like feels like the default bed. It's like lame. <laughs> it feels lame, you know. Maybe I'll move this over. A little Sims 1 music playing in the background here too, which is very nice. I want to put like a desk right here. I'm just gonna give him a whatever desk. I wish there was a desk that matched this bed set, but I don't think there really is. Like this kind of comes close. It's probably the closest I can get, and that's not even really it. <laughs> I love the I love I love the uh, enjoyment of the the chemistry command. <laughs> I love all the different chemistry things. Uh, I Carly Machinima Hobo Baby. <laughs> it's three bolts of chemistry. Wait, did it not do? Oh, three, two bolts between Hobo Baby and you. Three bolts between you playing The Sims. Th two. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. I'm certainly taking notes of these results. Absolutely. Uh, what do I want? I just want to keep things like simple ish. I feel like he's got the magazines, but I don't know where the magazines are at. I got so much random crap here. He's got a book. He's got a random book. Are there recolors of the book? No. It's a cooking book. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. I don't really know what these, these folks are into. There, he's got that. These are just like three random pieces of furniture. It works. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I do it. You said pocket baked Alaska. What's going on? I know my regrets. I don't know what's happening. I think I've lost I've lost some of the context of what's happening in the chat. I think I might have. I wish I could put this, but it's like gigantic. Maybe I could still put it. I wish it was like a little bit darker. It feels like bright. Hmm. I don't know. I'll leave it. I don't want to. I don't want to. I didn't want to go too in depth. The hard part is, is like, what am I going to do for Beatrice? Like, she doesn't get anything? Unless I make, like, a little room for a kid. Where could the kid go? The kid gets shoved in here. But ideally, I'd make this Beatrice's space, but then where does Sylvia go? Can I make Sylvia, like, a little makeshift room in another area here? Hmm. Oh, the fixed message was a bad word in my native language. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I guess I'll leave it for now. I don't know. I don't feel like trying to figure it out. I'll figure it out some other time. Oh, it means ass in Portuguese. It's funny. Oh god, they're back on the bed. They're back on the bed. God damn it! And I can hear the cats scre scratching something. We also need to do their traits. Also, his turn-ons are makeup and charismatic. Interesting. He does not like a good reputation. He likes bad girls. He likes the bad girls. I'd like to click on this, please. Oh! Whoa! 
This old man. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, Alley Pip, guys, what? <laughs> Alley Pip, what? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Well, who does it? <laughs> Ooh. The yo. <laughs> the overlay Ooh. was. I said up to yo. It's echoing. <laughs> the creepy echo. Why? I can't ever figure it out. Time is running out. Well, they had a good date. I swear to God, if she gets pregnant with this random old man's baby. Are you kidding me? I'm going to have her not brush her teeth. You, you don't have to brush your teeth. What does this man want? He wants to be tickled. All this old man wants, his last his last dying wish is to be tickled by you. Stands just to tickle him. Now he wants you to kiss. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I figured, I mean, it's only in one spot. And I can't figure out if it's playing through somewhere. You know, Ellie Pip just said guys and then left. <laughs> Ellie Pip has been kidnapped or or something. I hope something. I hope. <laughs> they were always trying to trick me. I know. What are we doing? Oh God, she's hacking and coughing. We we just killed this old man. It's weird though because the other sounds are fine. We could check for baby. We can do it. Like I said, I keep meaning to take out my baby mods. And I gotta fix my startup cheat. Suggestion channel, music channel. I don't know what that... Let me write... I'm gonna write a new note. <laughs> I was yelling at Beatrice and... Oh, oh, okay. I thought you were saying, like, everybody, guess what? <laughs> but me getting kidnapped is cooler lore, so let's go with that. <laughs> I do have the silent pregnancy and I'm, I'm tired of it. I want to take it out because I, I want to know anyway. I think it's funnier to know anyway. Um, I'm going to write it down. I always forget what these notes mean and then I throw them away. And then... Also, I got to roll an ad in a sec too here. What do we do? <gasps> Wait! Everybody came home with him! I didn't think they were gonna! <laughs> Everybody's here! <laughs> Why are they? Why? <laughs> I thought we... <laughs> the house is full! <laughs> it's a party! <laughs> Why? Okay. Well, welcome to Veronaville. They're like, they're all looking at the art. They're like, wow, it's so fancy and old here. The trauma followed us. <laughs> Beatrice, Be Be Benedict's trying to sleep in the party. Cowboy, hoot a lot of, hoot a lot Mayor. I feel bad that Benedict gets a better room. Uh oh, what just happened? I don't know what just happened. Okay, he wants to interact. She wants to interact with her mans. Where did he? Where did he go? There's so many Sims on the lot. Where is he? Where is our mans? I cannot find him. Can I click on his face to find him? Oh, he's right here. What is she's trying to admire him. Oh my god, the lightning has followed us here too, apparently. Should we should we introduce him to dad? <laughs> where's where's our father? I'm sure I had to introduce to Wish we had an introduce to option, but I don't think we do. Buy seeds? I can buy seeds from this man? Why can I buy seeds from this man? Is he a garden club person? The man's is older than her dad. The man's is o oak nut than her dad. I move my fingers unconsciously. Didn't you have a note before Sam that just said zombie and you had no idea? Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I write notes all the time and then I throw them away because I don't know what they mean. Oh my god. It's, it's chaos in here. Oh god, this is another- everybody's sick here! Everybody's catching this- this flu! His seed. Yeah, he must be a garden man. Look at him! Everybody's here is sick! It's a spreading party! <laughs> the COVID party! Horrific! No! Beatrice, why? Not in the middle of everybody. At least they can't see what you're doing in there. God. Oh, Matthew is a garden club guy, so he's like a default garden club guy. Okay. <laughs> Antonio has no idea that Matthew... what Matthew has done to his daughter. <laughs> Matthew has, Antonio has no idea. Oh god, even you're sick. I'm tired of everybody being sick. I'm gonna have to start a pharmacy in town. Everybody can take their medicine. Awkward. This is awkward. Well, also, we, let's check. Let's do it. Is there a sim blender on the lot? Are you a sim blender? Are you a sim blender? You're not a sim blender. Are you a sim blender? No. <laughs> the that lady's bob is cute as heck. Oh, this one, yeah. This is Bianca Monti. It looks really good on her. I really like this one on her. It also has really nice physics. Like it wiggles. It like move. Oh, oh she's like, you want to see a wiggle? <laughs> you want to see a wiggle? <laughs> there is a sim blender. <laughs> I don't know where. I don't know where it went. Is that one? That's not one. Oh wait, why is there a little- there's a little plant out here. I might have deleted it. Are you a sim blender? I might have to get one. I like the- I use the sim blender to check for pregnancy. I don't know, the way it shows it is, a, is nicer. The other ones confuse me sometimes. That's just a regular fiscus. We'll, we'll replace it. I don't know why her did that. She was watching- I think she was following somebody. So it, like, it glitched out. Okay, pregnancy. Nope, have baby with. Nope, she's not pregnant. She's not pregnant. Should we make him do it again? <laughs> It'd be chaotic. She wants to fall in love. I'm gonna lock that in for her. Let's make out some more. They must be close to falling in love. No old man baby. Womp, womp, womp. God, everybody's sick. Everybody's sick. <laughs> we demand the old baby, old man baby Funkel. <laughs> what is that Funkel? All right, we can we can try again a few more times. How about that? We'll do a smooch. I want to make him fall in love. Oh, I forgot because she's also what did what was their last trait they got? We didn't check their last trait. Oh, she got night owl. What did he get? We got Angler. Okay. Benedict so far is kind of like the good twin. And Beatrice is kind of like the kooky twin. So honestly, she's like neurotic and like erratic. It seems right that she's just going to like get with this random old guy because her friend, her, her pal Alan said so. <laughs> she's a little unhinged. God, everybody hacking up a lung? Packing on our 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 wine, Dustin. Not him swooning, Nina, right in front of us. Um, casual, woohoo, bed. Let's go. Let's go, Funkle. <laughs> right in front of my salad. I support women's wrongs. <laughs> No, she's gonna end up with a baby from this man. Oh my god, that that one scared me a little bit because I was just hearing a, a weird sound. I just heard like a wooga. I think he, I think Don just did something to her because I heard him go like a wooga, like he was grabbing her or doing something, and she's like, "Ew, no, go away, Don." I think it was Don. 
Because they just had something happen here. I heard that sound and I thought, ooh, somebody did a thing. Everybody's loving the tea. This is a good t outing. Everybody loves our tea. Dustin, you can't just walk in on Nina peeing like that. What are you doing? All right. Oh my god, two FPS for a second there. That was rough. No, Antonio, don't do it. Antonio, no. Oh god, Antonio's walking past. He's gonna... Antonio's sitting out here. What are you trying to do? I think he's trying to kick it back. He's trying to, like, recline, and it doesn't work. Antonio, please. <laughs> they, all, they just kicked him out. He can't go through. Why has he got empty bubbles also? Oh, it's from the dirty joke. That makes sense. That sounds right. Okay. Oh, the love has happened. He fell in love with her, but she didn't fall in love with him. I think. Lilith's bank account gained an interest of $100. Thanks. Okay. I don't need to know that, but thanks. Lilith wants us to know that she's got money. Lilith said, I got cash. I'm sorry, I gotta roll an ad real quick. I keep forgetting. I don't want to have to have people dealing with the pre-rolls. Do that. Oh, Benedict is healthy, finally. They're just gonna get sick again, though. Everybody else is sick. It's 6 a.m. on a Friday. Everybody's here still. Okay. Should I check if baby? Should I check for baby? I don't know. Maybe I should just wait. I'm gonna change your pajamas because this is absurd. <laughs> Please, Peekanut Baby! <laughs> Jump skirt. Jump skirt. Except I saw it pop up because I was looking over. Those could be cute pajamas, but they have sandals. Get her one of these. I like these. Here we go to the cherry one. There you go. Now she's got proper PJs. The only thing is, this is so low, her little butt crack shows. That's weird. I don't like that. I might change that. I didn't notice that. I don't like that. Wait, let's, let's try pajamas. Let's do these. This is one of my go-tos anyway, so we'll do that. She's got a little robe on. She covered up. <laughs> her nut crack. Her nut crack. Not a fan of child, but yeah, it's weird. Like, why? Why can't that just connect? Why do we need the, the midriff? I mean, I know that that was like a popular thing to have like the little short stuff, short. Wait, why is she wearing those pajamas? I don't think those are the pajamas I put her in, right? Why was she wearing those? Maybe I didn't change her pajamas. No, she's not pregnant. Not pregnant. We would have to actually, like, try for baby with the man. Also, she's sleeping. <laughs> no pregnante. No pregnante. This old man's seated. I know he's old. We can't trust him. Look at him. He's swooning over... Oh my god, the lag. Because of everybody on this lot, it's lagging out. I don't know why Bella has a braid, but it's fine. Everybody, it's, they've been here all night. They spent their night at downtown and they came back to our house and they're just here. It's 7 a.m. and they're drinking wine in our in our dining room. Leave. Go away. I think he has to work today. <laughs> Antonio hasn't slept all night. He's, he's drunk. He's just drinking things out of the fridge. And you have just like some pancakes? Who went in Rome? Yeah. Antonio needs to be working an hour. And everybody's still here. Are they leaving yet? The bus is here. I got lag up the wazoo because of everybody being here. Okay. Matthew's just here? He was staring at the cat going poop. He just was standing here staring and the cat's here. What if Matthew thinks he's living here now or something? He's looking for a caretaker is what he's looking for. Yeah, it's kind of a bigger lot, too. Lots of stuff. Oh my god, that was a lag spike. Yeah, nope. I'm surprised no pink soup. 
Uh oh, everybody's sick. I think we need to get everybody to leave. Oh, she's sleeping. Benedict, are you awake? I think I'm gonna have Benedict kick everybody out. He's gonna go to work. Okay, you get up. Yeah, I guess I'll save. If it'll release my cursor here. There we go, we'll save. Oh god, the phone's ringing. <laughs> this household got kind of, like, unhinged. This household got, like, a little wild, man. <laughs> got a little kooky crazy. Look at Bella. Bella's just disgusted. Bella's just over here disgusted. <laughs> uh oh, my game's having a moment. May I save? May we save the video game? Thank you. Oh, you're going to be a chef. Uh, Bella's in Antonio. We're also we're not doing good at the wifey speed run. We failed. Should I invite Isabella over? Oh, Matthew's leaving. Bye, Matthew. See you around. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for almost impregnating my daughter. Bye. Sorry for, uh, to keep talking about Sims 3. That's fine. I like talking about The Sims 3. But how many times do you use the save cleaner? Um, I don't know. Whenever I feel like I want to, I guess. Um, you can use it after every save. I mean, you can use it... I mean, of course, you have to have the game closed, of course, right? So, I mean... You might... It might just be each time you go to load it up, whatever save that you want to load up, you might run it through that quick. Um, might be every other time. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to do it every single time. You could just do it whenever you feel like you've done a lot of stuff that there might be a lot of, a lot of crud that needs to get cleaned, you know? Or you feel like things are loading slowly and you want to do it. That's pretty much it. I don't do it super often. For, like, for streaming, I do it pretty much every time I get ready to play The Sims 3 just, just to make sure it's running smooth for a stream. But, like, for regular play, you don't really need to, I wouldn't think. Also, these guys don't have... What are their lifetime wishes? Become celebrity chef, so he wants to follow in his father's footsteps? She wants to become education minister. Okay, we could get them jobs. Do you canoe? <laughs> is that what it said? Or is that just the random... Uh-oh. Um, just because Sylvia is lately sick. Okay. They still want somebody to join the household. She still didn't fall in love with Matthew. Her true love. Matthew the old fart. Do you think Matthew's loaded? What if Matthew's got a lot of money? <laughs> I didn't see it. It was a prank call. That's funny. I like those. What if Matthew's got- Oh, Matthew's still here. Oh, he's leaving. Oh my god, look at all the roses. <laughs> These must be from the other girlies. Oh my god. <laughs> the newspapers and the roses. I need you to recycle all of these. And then I want to view them and see who's from what. Who's from who. She's wearing the baby pajamas. Okay, yeah, I get it. Sylvia's sick. Everybody's sick. I have sickness disease. I have the sickness disease. Okay, let's see. Matthew has a lot of seeds, but nothing that's romantic and fertile. Okay. Dear Antonio. From Isabella. Oh, oh. Okay. So this, yeah, Matthew, obviously we knew that. So these are Nina and Antonio, uh, Nina and Isabel. Here, I'll pop them on here. There we go. He's hungry. No, I'm not gonna have you drink tea. That's not good. You need to get food in you. You need to eat actual food. Um, how would I have you look for, like, a job? Or something. Assumption. Assumption like that. Uh, look for a full-time job. 
I'll just maybe I don't know. He needs he wants he wants to do culinary according to his lifetime wish. He's following in the Monty legacy. It's always possible if he doesn't find it, I'll just give it to him. <laughs> I usually do that. I have him look just because, like, why not? But then it's like I kind of just want him to have the thing I want him to have. Okay, law career, look again. There's also something something else could come up and you're like, hmm, that's kind of interesting. Slacker, look again. Animal control. No thanks. I don't think that's his vibe. He's thinking about engagement. He wants to get engaged. Landlord career track. No, no thanks. I think we'll pass on that one. That's the other thing. All my NPC private school track as the headmaster. No thanks. Okay. I'm just gonna give it to him. Career adult. Um, culinary. How would I just give her? She apparently wants to join the education career. Career. I'm just going to give it to her. Why not? Yeah, apparently they're a food enjoyer. This whole family, the, the Montes in general, are big food enjoyers. I'll give that. Uh, he could probably fill this up. Does this need to be... Oh, where is it? Does that need to be cleaned again? No. Should we invite Matthew back over and try to fall in love with him? We must be close. We must be close to fall in love with him. This is our last day with this family, too. Hmm. I don't know if we'll have time to start another family. I Probably not. Depends on how quickly we get through this, this family. This family took us a little bit longer, it feels like. I guess just because of them leaving and going somewhere and us playing. Uh, you know, playing the time that was while they were gone and all of that stuff. Depends on how fast the family goes by. Okay, I keep getting updates for Sylvia. Oh my god. These Sims and their illness. These Sims and their illness. Seeing the ro oh the rose faces yes, we've got lots of roses. <laughs> we got lots of roses. Love is definitely in the air. Unfortunately, her love is a little bit questionable. I feel like there's a motivation behind it somewhere. <laughs> she kissed a guy. She had an autonomous first kiss with a guy, and then he immediately said, "Hey, I have a blind date for you." and gave her a date with a random old man, and they hit it off and fell in love and have been woohooing and going crazy with each other. So, I, 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 you know, I don't know. I don't know how to feel. Also, Antonio got a level up, a level up, a, 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 a raise? <laughs> a promotion, that's the word. Got a promotion. What's your schedule now? Okay, a little bit different days. A restaurateur. Everyone's clamoring for a piece of the pie. Your pie, that is. Oh. Let's call over your future wifey. You're not gonna go to sleep, actually. Oh, you're you're tired, but I'm gonna be a cheater and raise your energy so you can go call wifey, because we're supposed to be speedrunning wifey. We're failing. We're, we're failing at the wifey speedrun. Please don't touch my pie. <laughs> don't touch pie. Invite over. The only thing is that this wifey we only have two bolts with, but Nino, can my friend come over? Sure. I don't mind. I do love the sunflowers. Oh yeah, I love I love sunflowers in general. I had some in my garden this year that were like, they were, I think they had to have been at least eight feet tall. They were huge, probably a little bit taller. They ended up with a massive head, and they were like the the stem was like thick. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, we had a windstorm, and they all got knocked and broken. It was awful. Okay, he's headed off to work. Oh, here comes... Oh, no. What did you bring? Who'd you bring? Which one of these people is your people? Is it this guy or this lady? 
to my friend. This man's got blonde eyebrows. Honestly, kind of look at this. This is kind of a look. We got the the red head with blonde brows. You got bleached brows. Okay. All right. <laughs> anyway, we gotta talk to we gotta talk to future. No, get up. Don't don't take a nap. Wifey's here. Get up. Wake up. She's a cutie. We need to we need to secure her. We got we got to do it right here and now. He's got a couple of ladies, but but she's she's I think she's got to be the one. What is this? Be kissed romantically. Okay. Hello, Toby Toby Brunig. Okay, Vin. A kiss. Propose engagement. I'm gonna do it. Oh, he fell in love with her. What if she says no? Oh no, not the old lady. The old lady's in our way. The old lady behind him. Oh my god. It worked. <laughs> Very good. My guy is serving. This lady, this this old lady has done this fake out handshake to everybody. She did it in the background to him. She did it to Antonio a minute ago. Like, it's not funny anymore. <laughs> it's not funny anymore. Okay. I want her to move in. This is our wifey speed run. Very good. Does that accomplish his want? Why didn't it accomplish his want? That was the whole point we were doing it. I might, I might accomplish it. There we go. I'm gonna force serve it. There we go. All right. Now we got wifey. She wants a baby in a wedding party. She's a, she's a military girly. She's a recruit level one. Have any badges? No. We gotta give her her traits. What do you think her traits are gonna be? I gotta. I'm. I'm. Oh, nope. I didn't mean to do that. I gotta click. Uh. Can I please click? Add missing traits to Is Isabella. This <laughs> is a warrior queen. Okay, what are your traits? Ooh, okay. Interesting. She's inappropriate, vegetarian, frugal, bookworm, and brooding. That's quite an interesting little bunch. So he's gotta he's gotta learn how to bake some vegetarian dishes for his new wifey. Oh. What? Why did- oh, Wait! I just realized who this is! <laughs> she has a bio! <laughs> I just realized what's going on here. <laughs> I just realized what's going on here. Twilight Edward, is that you? Yeah. So, this is- this is- I think this is one of the Gavigans. Gavigans? One of the Bin Sims? But because she was a townie in Veronaville and I made it a subhood and added it to- are to the hood um it randomizes the townies names so a bunch of the townies have different names so i think that this is let me see she's she might be a size di mother it doesn't show it doesn't show i think because he got adopted but she's because this is see they have random names virgil mclure who's apparently dead and then isabella voss but i think that's the gavins I think so, because she you can see that uh, Isaiah kind of looks like her. Is this Isaiah's mom that's like taken on another identity after she abandoned her family and her children? <laughs> I think that's what's going on because she has a bio. The reason I know that Mary has sacrificed her own desires to accommodate Nathan's dream of moving to a new location. Now that she is a mom, she hasn't made up her mind whether she is a ha as happy here as she was repairing cars in her hometown. Uh, only time will tell if she made the right decision. So her name was Mary. It was Mary and Nathan Gavigan, I think. It is, you looked it up. Okay, it should be Mary and Nathan and Isaiah. <laughs> I had no idea. That's so funny. Okay, well. That's, we, we, we secretly have Isaiah's mommy here. Which we gotta throw a wedding party. We gotta throw a party. Should we just like go for it? Like, we should just go for it. Let me drop down a wedding arch and everything. Mary Sue and Daniel vibes. 
She's got a history. She's she's changed her name and is lying. He doesn't know either. You know, he doesn't understand. He doesn't know these things. It's it's all a lie. The drama. I'm gonna just put this like out here somewhere. Maybe just like or would it be prettiest? I don't know. What if they put it right in the middle of the garden? Everybody can just stand around and watch. <laughs> I, th I assume they can route to that. Maybe I'll move this back a little. <laughs> yeah, he got adopted officially into the Monty family. He's is a, he's Bianca Monty's son now. So I assume maybe that's why the t the ties were severed, or whatever. The family tie. It'd be funny if I could still get that tie to show up, though. She wants to throw a party, so I'm gonna have her throw a wedding party now. That's true, she's marrying into her own son's family. Do you think she knows? Yeah, like, does she know, or does she- maybe she- what if she doesn't really know where he is? She's just like, maybe she abandoned him and like- because the father shows us dead because I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, I killed him because I killed a bunch of random townies and I didn't realize who he was. But I saved her because I thought she was cool looking. So now her father, the husband's dead. Maybe she, like, the father, we could say the husband died and then she abandoned her son or something and went off to start a new life because she, like, had a breakdown. What if she murdered him? What if that's the storyline? What if we made a storyline that she murdered her husband? And then had a breakdown and ran off and had a new life. She's in hiding. And she doesn't know that her son has been adopted by the Montes. Dun dun dun. <laughs> the hair is full of the hair is full of lies and plans. Okay, I don't know who we're inviting to this party. She she's like, I'm gonna call my friend Nina. Let's call my friend Nina. And I, I like all these caps. <laughs> Let's call all the caps. I think the caps are neat. What if I call Asaya? We could have Asaya. I don't think she's going to call Asaya. General Buzz Grunt. Sure. This is such a random... Cecil. Yeah. Mercutio Monti. Romeo. We call Bianca. Oh, we can't call Bianca. Let's get rid of Cecil. So the most random party. <laughs> Laura goes crazy. Here, should I re... Let me rewrite her bio. Let's rewrite her bio. Wait, let me just try and, like, delete everything, because it's just... I was shocked to see she had a bio, and then I connected the dots. So her name was originally Mary. Um, yeah, we gotta have a Caliente for the drama. Yeah, there's some drama between Nina and Antonio. Um, how do we want to write this? Maybe... Isabella as she likes to call herself now, has finally managed to set up a new life <laughs> for herself after her last one ha had a tragic and bloody ending. <laughs> Oops, I spelled bloody wrong. <laughs> Maybe it just stops there, ominously. <laughs> that's the- that's the- I'm gonna come across this, like, months down the line. I'm gonna be like, what? <laughs> what? What? Oh, I'm gonna ignore that. I don't feel like dealing with it. Okay, the people should show up. We got sandwiches. What else do they need? They don't need- they don't need nothing else. They don't need nothing else. The people are happy. The people are fine. The kids are all right. Uh-oh. Everybody loaded in. Okay, who who showed up? Do we only have we got we got Mercutio. Nina's here. Consort's here. Monty, Monty. Who are you? Cornwall Cap. General Buzz Grunt. Brittany Upsnot. Hello, crew. Welcome in. <laughs> Antonio's like, oh my god, why did you invite a a, a cab? Oh, Buzz and, uh, Buzz and Nina are going at it. Okay, General Buzz and Nina. General Buzz is a married man. <laughs> this was a mess of a party. Oh, so the in sync whistling? <laughs> okay. Let's just get it over with. Let's just go. We're, we're doing a wifey speed run. 
Maybe she's also eager to get married to just move on. Oh. What is this suit? Antonio. Antonio. Coming in caliente, yes. Oh, look at her dress. Okay. She looks good. Everybody want to watch us get married out in the garden? Y'all want to watch us get married? Oh, look, the kitty showed up. There's a kitty that showed up. Oh, nobody's going to show up. Do really think Nina minds? Probably not. Look at our beautiful little garden wedding. Our son is still at work. <laughs> he did not get to see it happen. And he's the one that wanted it to happen. Oh, her green eyes. Okay. Um, oops. Uh, other Sim. She's going to take his name. So now she's Isabella. It's so broken that she's Isabella Monty. <laughs> like, because... <laughs> so we, have, we now have Isabella Monty. Antonio's parents were Patrizio Monty and Isabella Monty. <laughs> Patrizio's mom was Isabella Monty. And now his wife is Isabella Monty. <laughs> Maybe he should have taken her name. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think it's funny, though. Like, okay. Well, you know. <laughs> I hate that his mom's name is the same as his wife's. Ugh. Oh, no. It's happened. It's finally happened. <laughs> the moment has happened. The moment has come. <laughs> yeah, I open up. Imagine people getting confused. Oh, God. <laughs> Nut soup. Butt spot. <laughs> Nut soup. <laughs> Oh, God. All right. Well, that's the party. Uh, maybe I'll have you cook some stuff. Oh, my God. Vin, get out of our fridge. Throw up some pork chaps, I guess. Okay, come here. Serve. Here, let's serve dessert. Let's make a cheesecake. Why not? Oh, God. What did Butt Spot do now? If they have a daughter, I wonder what her name will be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isabella. <laughs> Isabella. If they have a daughter, I wonder what her name will nut. Butt spot. <laughs> yeah, I'll save and uh, I'm gonna save and then usually all I have to do is go out to the neighborhood and come back in. We're almost done playing this household anyway. Um, and we're almost done with stream anyway, because I'm gonna go for five hours. I thought we could probably watch one more machinima before we're done. I've had a fun time tonight. This was a fun little adventure with my name is Patricia. Patricia. I like that. We need to have them try for baby before we go. But I'll save. Go out to the neighborhood. Just come back so that um, I can try and get the pink flashing to stop. Usually they'll just reset it enough. At least for a little while. Patrizia. That's good. I like that. Or if it's a boy, it could be Patrizio. Imagine if he changes his name. <laughs> I don't think that would work. <laughs> Change his name to, to Patrizio. Or just Patrick. <laughs> Patrick. They could have a baby named Patrick. Okay. Reload. Reload. Oh, God. Decapitated. Decapitation. Peter. <laughs> That's not bad. Peter's not bad. Decapitation. Pat. Just Pat. Or Riz. <laughs> or Riz. Or Riz. Thank you for the follow. Sub... Sub... Sabira. Sabira Nova. Maybe. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Uh-oh. Now Isabella's sick. Hi, Romeo. Look at our slick boy. Also, look at Cornwall in his fancy little suit. Fancy little suit. <laughs> Burglar. Burglar time. <laughs> Romeo's going in on these chips. I can't wait to play more of like Romeo and them. <laughs> you are correct. Okay, thank you and welcome in. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Okay. I wanted her to invite her mans over too. We gotta invite her mans back over and fall in love. Okay, we get the tea. We get we got we got tea. Yeah, good job. Now get up and go, go have some. Go get some. Uh, call call your man. Call your man. 
How many heart palpitations got back from playing The Sims 1? Oh no. Uh, yeah, invite over. <laughs> heart attack instead, yeah. Everybody's sick. Everybody's sick. I think these two need to woohoo up here. I'm gonna have them officially try for baby. Oops, not make bed. But oh, not so hot, toddy. Welcome in. Thank you very much for the raid. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Our Sims are about to woohoo. <laughs> You've come at the right time. I don't know why my auto shout out didn't work. I can do this here. I have an I have an auto shout out that's supposed to be set up. But thank you so much for the raid. What were y'all playing? Or it'll tell me in a sec. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Let me do that. Hopefully that works. Does it not want to work? Oh, there it goes. Oh, you were playing The Sims 2 as well. Very cool. <laughs> what were y'all doing in The Sims 2? Thank you for the raid. Uh, feel free to take care of yourself after after the stram. Hello, how are you? <laughs> not so hot, toddy. My name, I guess I could introduce myself. I don't know what, I'm not good at the raids, like tell it, being like, hi, my name is Sam. Uh oh, butt spot. <laughs> butt spot, please. <laughs> I typically stream a zombie game, but I love me The Sims. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, we, I uh, mostly stream The Sims. Um, oh, specifically The Sims 2. Yeah, Sims 2 is great. We mainly do Sims 2, but we also sometimes play The Sims 3 here and The Sims 1. Um,. But we, uh, sir, I wanted you to not do that. Uh, yeah, we're playing in Uberhood right now. Who is screaming? Somebody's screaming. Okay, Romeo's yelling. Yeah, we we uh we're playing in Uberhood right right now, which means there's a bunch of different Sims all together, a bunch of different hoods all smashed together, and our Sim has just got married very quickly we did a wifey speed run we tried to get him a wifey real quick he married isabella who may or may not have murdered her last husband that's another that's another conversation entirely um <laughs> but their current she wants a baby so we're gonna go for it <laughs> we're gonna go for it uh and then our main sim here is mr antonio monti he's part of veronaville which is a pre-made hood um Let's just, I'm just gonna have him full on try for baby. I don't think, have they ever woohooed? They might have woohooed. I don't remember. His new wifey has the same. Oh, yeah, that's also a thing. His wifey ended up having. Okay, we got the cutscene. <laughs> we got a cutscene. <laughs> she kind of abandoned this one too, baby. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Peony Simmer. <laughs> okay, there we go. There it is. <laughs> Uber is my dream, but it overwhelms me. It can be overwhelming. It definitely can be. Okay, that's that that one scared me. I thought that was a real baby sound. Honestly, not scared me because I wanted the I wanted it. But uh yeah, so we've had some weird times going on in this household tonight. Okay, poor little poor little uh I forgot what her name is even. Little Sylvia here. Look at our little little green baby. Poor little creepy little Sylvia has kind of been neglected a little bit. She's kinda of just she's kinda of just here. Her little alien girly. Oh god, the the F this there's a lot of Sims on the lot. <laughs> there's a lot of Sims on the lot right now. Everybody's lagging my games. As soon as I saw Sims 2, I smashed the follow button. <laughs> Very good. We do lots of Sims 2 around here. Um, yeah, this is a, this Uberhood is one that I've played for a long time on my YouTube. I usually make Let's Play videos about it, but I've recently kind of stepped back from Let's Play videos and been enjoying doing like live gameplay. And uh, yeah, so I've been doing, we've been playing, we, this is our first time playing this Uberhood on Twitch. Um, but I usually play, we have another pre-made type hood or pre-made themed hood. And then we have a custom hood that we also play. So we have a bunch of different Sims 2 hoods that we usually play throughout the week. Um, we have a very, the, our, our, I, my favorite, which I think a lot of people here's favorite, is, uh, oh, we got a roof raiser. 
We have a custom hood called Calicundia, which is all of the Sims there are uh, very kooky looking. <laughs> They're a little crazy. They're a little out there. The kind. And uh, we'll be playing them on Saturday. We'll be we'll be back same time Saturday. To play that household. And there, yeah. Thank you, Jay Dreamer. That's our. We actually there's actually a full on Wikipedia for our custom hood. <laughs> we've we've gone all in. <laughs> we're we're a little far gone. I wanted her. Oh, she went to sleep. I wanted her to catch up with her hud with her her not her husband, her man's. But he went away. He left. Oh well. Creepy and ooky. <laughs> Creepy and ooky spooky. All right. Oh, it's already Saturday. Um, I don't know. Do we want to try and do we want to start another hood? I'm not. I mean, not another hood, another household. We could probably go a little bit longer and start another household. We've just finished this this household. I don't know. I think I'd want to play another Veronaville hood. Because we're done now that it's Saturday. We aren't, we're only going to play till Friday. Not start another hood. <laughs> no, please, no. I have too many. <laughs> too many. Ooh, yeah. Let's just throw this one away. This one was boring. We'll throw it away. Let's get another one. We need a fresh one. We need a fresh new one. Okay, we're going to save this. But yeah, we were only going to play till Friday uh, sim time. <laughs> I'm going to start another wiki. Oh, no. Can you imagine trying to make a Wikipedia on Strange View? That would be ridiculous. That would not work. <laughs> that would not work. <laughs> I wouldn't even remember half the things to write. Like, how would you even? I mean, half of it would just be the same as regular Sims Wikipedia. Uh, we got Monty. Monty. Maybe we could try a cap. We could just play a couple days of them. So I'm kind of in the mood to just play a little bit more, and then we'll, we'll watch a machinima, and then we'll, we'll be done. <laughs> the family trees. That'd be ridiculous. We got these guys. We got a summer dreams. We do need to fix their hair. Their hair is goofing. Yeah, we could um, to make all those Sims and lots yourself in this hood. Not fully. This was this hood. This um. So I can use. So we have. We're in Veronaville. We also have Strange Town attached to this hood, and then we also have Pleasant View as the main hood. Um. Yeah, we might do it. We'll do a machinima break at the end. I guess. I think that's what we'll do. Um, <clears throat> but so all of a lot of these Sims are pre-made Sims, so they're the, like the Sims that ship with the hood. Some of them are newer Sims or Sims that are like bred from those pre-made Sims. Um, so but a lot of the the buildings I have made over, but I haven't fully built them all myself. Um, I don't know who we want to play. We got David Otimus was quite a character. That's right. We had the, these guys were the other one that were up next. Maybe we'll play. Let's play these guys. They were one of the others. I skipped past them to play the Montes. I'm a Sims three player. I started with two at five years five years old, but I kind of want to find it kind of difficult now too. Interesting. They're really needy and too conscious. <laughs> That's funny. Sims two is so hard. I have no idea how I played it like eleven year old. That's interesting. That's funny that b both people say it's hard. I guess. Maybe it is a little. I think I'm. Maybe I'm just so used to it. I don't even think about it. I also have a billion mods that make it smoother. I guess make it a little bit easier. But <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, I guess for me the hardest one is The Sims One. I guess The Sims Three. The only way that The Sims Three is difficult for me is, um, uh oh, Cornwall needs a reset. The only one that's difficult for me would be, yeah, I guess The Sims, The Sims 3, what am I saying? I guess Sims 3 is only difficult through, just that it sometimes can be a little overwhelming, I guess. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. I, I got a little mixed up there with what I was trying to explain, but it's not as hard, I guess, to take, if you're talking about, like, taking care of Sims. Um... Okay, I'm gonna set time, set day of the week to Monday. It's already 7 a.m. I think that's fine. Sims 2 was able to drink in two years. That's scary. I tried playing Sims 4 in my friend's house the other day because she lacked the billions of mods I use to make the game barely tolerable. I gave up after five minutes. Oh my gosh. That's wild. That's wild. Okay, so this lot... 
Okay, I remember coming in here and doing a makeover. So this lot here used to be, I had two people, two kind of groups living. It was Kent Cap, which was Reagan's brother, and his fiance. They ended up getting married, but his partner now, um, Ryan, and they were living in this house, and then there was a separation, and they, the the other Reagan and uh, Reagan and Cornwall lived over here. But I since tried to kind of combine them and make one big kind of living area for them all. Uh, Reagan, I believe, is currently pregnant. Yes. Oh, apparently, I left the banner up from the wedding. <laughs> I guess we'll leave it. That's fine. Um, Reagan's pregnant, so that'll be interesting. We'll have to come up with a with a baby name. And then Cornwall is spying on the neighbors. He's looking at a cactus. Is he seeing Strange Town from here? <laughs> Maybe he's looking at the Monty side. Sometimes there's cacti over there. He's obsessed with robotics, Mr. Cornwall is. Now, I don't think they have traits yet. Let's give them traits. Give them some traits. Uh, I don't know where to put this. I'll put it somewhere that'll just kind of be there. Creepy mask. Corn beef. Yes, Mr. Cornwall. He was the one that I accidentally said, what is it, great forays into twinking? What I meant to say, tinkering. That was that was the Cornwall moment. It was Mr. Cornwall that gave us that moment. Oops, what did I do? Add missing traits to Hector. Accidentally removed him. Okay. Okay. Uh, interesting. Okay, so Cornwall got workaholic, born salesperson, inappropriate, Swiper and ve vegetarian, so he's he likes to steal things. He can pickpocket people. That seems he he literally looks like the charlatan. Doesn't isn't that the charlatan's facial hair? Like he literally has the charlatan's facial hair. He's the charlatan. <laughs> he's he, it's him. Okay, then she got light sleeper, loves to swim, excitable angler, and unlucky. A charlatan cab. And then what did Hector get? He got excitable and slight sleeper. Okay. Those aren't bad. For some reason, I feel like this kid's going to grow up to be a little spoiled brat, Mr. Hector. I also love his name. There's something about the name Hector. It's like a little kid with a fancy name. Okay, you're playing violin. You're just all over the place, buddy. I'm going to have you make some, some bots. Here, make a hydro bot. I'm going to do that. <laughs> Vanilla. <laughs> We'll have to have him, because he doesn't work. He's unemployed. His wife's the one that has the job. She wants to woohoo. What does she want? She wants Bottom to be cured of plant simism. I'm going to lock in the woohoo, I guess. Can, uh, oh. And what is your lifetime wish? She wants to earn 100k. Yours. Earn 100k. Well, y'all are just so... So, uh... Riveting. You're just the most interesting sims. They just want money. I guess it makes sense that he steals. He's a fortune sim. I don't know how far she is from having her baby. I'll have to see. No, I'm not going to say. We just jumped in here. Oh, my neck. Yeah, we'll just kind of play a couple days of these guys. I just feel like playing a little bit longer. And then next time, I guess Thursday is going to be Strange View Day. Unless something else happens. And I would like to try and make Wednesdays work when I'm uh, not feeling terrible. <laughs> that would be good. I don't know what our next machinima we're going to watch is. We, I guess we could watch another emo love story. Oh, you're very tired, ma'am. Come up here and go to sleep. Come on up. I really enjoy decorating in Veronaville. There's something about, like, trying to get the Veronaville spirit in decorating that I really enjoy. Um, oh, this is the kid. I was like, what child is that? It's it's Hector. He's got a little pink sleepy wear. His little pajamas is is pink. Okay, bud. We got a, we got a, see, are these broken? Like, what's going on with these? No, she can, she can click on it. Okay. I don't know. All right, she's gonna sleep. Maybe we'll just play until she has her baby, whenever that is. That'll be our goal. <laughs> we gotta get her to have her baby, and then we'll pick it up next time. Uh, 
have to come up with names. I have the Veronavillian name generator. I could, I can pull that up. I don't know if that'll give us like the right kind of fancy names we want. I'm gonna sell what's in his inventory here. Uh, I don't know. I, I think he went into that a little bit. Do we have a Hydra bot around here? I don't know if we do. We have one outside. Maybe I'll put one in the house over here. I guess that might get in the way. Manifesting twins. Oh god, can you imagine? Oh no. I mean, I do have the triplets and quads mod too. What if we get our first set of quads? Oh no. It'll be extremely rare. <laughs> I've made them extremely rare though, so it'd be really special if we get triplets or quads. Maybe do we want to do a do we want to do a vote? <laughs> Why don't we do a prediction? Please no. Here, I think I can just start a prediction. Let me see. There we go. I can just reuse. If if y'all want to, you can here. Oh wait. Oh, I don't know how long I put that prediction up for. Oh, well, oops, I didn't look. <laughs> anyway, we have a prediction available. What is the other pop-up? There's like a pop-up behind it. I don't know what that is. You haven't gotten quads in your game yet. I haven't either. I haven't either. There should be a prediction at the top of the chat if you want to vote for how many, how many babies are going to be had. <laughs> I don't know. She looks like she's really close to having her baby. This child is, is unhappy. I'm caring for the child. I think she looks like she's third trimester. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Oh, it says five minutes left on the call. Okay, thank you. Does it where does it tell me does it tell me that? I don't know if it tells me that. Okay, but well, thank you. <laughs> I forgot to look at what it was set to. I just, I chose like the last poll and just changed the name to Reagan. It said the last one was Jenny. We were playing Jenny Smith in uh, Pollination Smith. I'm too scared to all or nothing. <laughs> I don't, are you allowed to vote on multiple? I don't think you are, right? You have to choose. What are you doing? Oh. I forgot the kitchen is way over here. She's getting her own food. There we go. Only one guess, okay. I went out for a confident 5k on twins, let's hope. I don't think they have- do they have secondaries? I don't recall. They do, she's got a secondary romance. Also, this kid can walk, apparently. Okay. I'm gonna go play with blocks. Is there a block thing up here? Is there- I don't think there's blocks out here. I don't think you can go up, buddy. Here, why don't you pick up the child? Maybe we'll take Cornwall out to a community lot and have him go- go, uh... <laughs> I spent too much, let's play. <laughs> oh, here, I gotta go. I just found out my dry cleaner's business burned to the ground. I got to get to work. Good stream. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, sorry to hear about that. That's a lot. Uh, have a good rest of your night, hopefully. My god. Um, thank you for hanging out. Let's bring up- bring the baby up here. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's- <laughs> wow. Uh-oh, what happened? I want you to pick him up. Are you not going to pick him up? No, no, he put down the baby. Oh my god. <laughs> no, you can just leave after- Are you going to have- are you like- I have so many questions. Get to work as in like, are you supposed to clean it up? <laughs> I don't think that's what you mean. I don't know if she meant like, finding a new dry cleaners. I gotta get to work. Maybe she- I think those are two separate things, because I know that Kara does some work in the medical field and also does work, like, 
as a delivery per sort of thing. I don't like a you said before like an Uber Eats sort of thing. It's a lot, but it, he was an idiot. I'm not surprised. Here I go. Ugh. Oh god. All right. Good luck. <laughs> Whatever that. Whatever's going on. Don't burn. Don't catch on fire. <laughs> don't catch on fire. I'll never forget how old how an old PV. Oh, you're an EKG tech at the hospital. Okay. I couldn't remember. You had said something once. I forget how in an old with triplets quads, unborn baby broke was quads, and I wanted to scream. Oh my gosh. Unba unborn baby broke was quads. I l you know what's funny? I love that that sentence. Only like a fellow simmer understands what the hell that even means. Unborn baby broke was quads. <laughs> like what a what an ominous weird little sentence. Oh my god, she wants to go downtown. I don't want to go downtown with her. I wanted him to go though. I do want him to walk to lot community lot. Um, we're gonna go on our own. We're gonna stay in Veronaville. Let's go to this market. Where all the rich people go, and let's steal some money. We're gonna steal people. Today was off, but everyone is fine. Well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> oh, thank you for hanging out, Sim Salutation. Yeah, we probably won't go for too much longer. Uh, I'm hungry, my back's starting to hurt. I just want to see this baby born. <laughs> I mean, cure bottom of plant simism doesn't sound either, I know. That sounds, that sounds rough. No one died. That's good. <laughs> that's good. That's good. At, at least. At the very least. That's good. <laughs> but yeah, buy some salutation and also care. <laughs> have, have a good, have a good, hopefully, rest of, rest of your day or night. Okay, why do we have an empty want slot? Oh. Alright, let's find a victim. Who's our first victim? Odis, Castor Nova, pickpocket. Oh my God, the lag! It's like the light changing is causing lag. Odis, Rodney Jung. There we go. Sucker number one. We gotta make some money. We got a baby on the way. You know, you know. <laughs> Good day. There we go. Oh, he that that gave him a want of making money. No, you're not going here. Uh oh, is he going to? Uh oh, this might be a, a, a have been a bad choice because people are going to be being seated and it's obnoxious. Crap! Ah, uh, crap! Well, maybe he only gets a couple a night. <laughs> Just a couple a night. I'm just a, a relief person to take over because the hospital is busy. Okay, people need breaks. I'm just here to help. Okay. Yeah, no, it's all right. We just, we were curious what, <laughs> what was up. Okay, good luck. Hopefully everything's okay. <laughs> Who's this guy? Alan Corey. There you are. He's so charlatan coded. He's so charlatan coded. Also, this floor is broken and I keep forgetting to come fix it. I don't know, I'll just have him do a couple. Uh, who else can I steal from? Maybe we'll just go. Maybe we'll do that. We'll just be two. Is there anybody out here? I don't see anybody out here. I'll have him walk home. I don't want to be gone too long. I w I'm waiting for the baby. What's he selling him? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, he's stealing his money, is what he's doing. So he's he's pickpocketing, so he's taking money out of their pocket. 
I don't know if he's like trying to tell them like a, like a scheme. I don't really know what technically he's supposed to be doing. There's social bunnies on the bags of veggie. Oh, that's true. I've seen that. That makes sense. Bunnies for carrots. Bunny carrots. Bunny carrots. Uh oh, big part of Main Street gone, but we will rebuild. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yikes. <laughs> Social Bunny's side job being a model for the carrot company. The carrot company. Mary Sue just got pregnant with another set of twins. Oh no. Also, hello, Skunky. All right, let's wait. She's got to be getting close here. We've got to be getting close here, ma'am. There it is, literally right here. There we go. All right, the moment has arrived. Who's who am I hearing shocked and screaming? <laughs> I just heard someone go what? what? Oh, this guy? <laughs> Baby! Baby! Alright, it is time. Oh god, just one? I think it's just one. Darn. <laughs> just a singular. Give me twins. Womp womp. Womp womp. Another little little baby. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. It's a girl this time. Sorry for the sorry. Let's choose outcome. Single. I don't think anybody voted single. <laughs> Prediction result is single. I don't think anybody even voted for single. I'm sorry. I think I need to up my percentages for twins or something. I don't know. Oh, you did? Oh, oh, wait. You got 40k points. <laughs> you got 40k points. <laughs> 43.6k go to you. Just you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, let's see. I have the link to the Veronavillian name generator. Oops. There we go. Let's see. Male names. Montano. Ulysses is good. I think we already have a Ulysses. Gregory's pretty good. Oh, wait, it's a girl. I forgot it's a girl. Nell. Catherine. Olivia. Robin. Helen. Ophelia. Titania. Isabella. We already got all those names. Portia's not bad. Elizabeth is good. Maria. <laughs> oh, Ludie's Lute, rich. Lou's rich. Okay, thanks for uh, hanging out, Karen. Good luck with that. I like Helena. Alice. Valeria. That sounds like a disease. Marjorie. Dolabella. Juliet. Mariana Miranda. Eleanor. Adriana. Hmm. Helena, because of the MCR. Ooh. <laughs> you. There you go. Ooh. I I to to you. <laughs> Oof to you. Yeah, why don't we do Helena? I'll be happy with that. I don't think we have a Helena in town. I like that. That's wait, and that's also perfect because their other kid is Hector, so it's two H's. Hector and Helena. There we go. Little baby. Little baby. Put Helena away. Okay, bye, Parody. I think we're probably going to be ending here. Um, I think, honestly, I'm sorry, but I think I'm going to skip the machinima. Because my back's starting to hurt really bad. It's kind of making my stomach upset. So I think we're going we're gonna to be done for the night. Um, we had our baby. I'm going to save. We'll, we'll make sure to watch a couple next time. Hi, puppy. Olive just came upstairs. Here, let me swap over to the screen. Our spooky screen. Our spooky goodbye screen. Okay. Um, 
That's that. I had some fun. That was our first time playing some Strange View. That was kind of fun. That was interesting to, to get to see some of the, the, the icons, the classics. <laughs> Your stream looks more orange now. It is. It's very orange. <laughs> it's very orange. Um, yeah. Thank you guys very much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed our adventure. Oh, we got some olive oil. Some olive oil. <laughs> uh, I gotta do another update to her picture. I gotta do another olive picture. Let me get a, uh, do that. <laughs> I give her the mod love as well. I gotta pick a music. Here, we'll just do this one again. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'll be back on Saturday. Um, yeah, I think that's all I really need to say. I'm gonna go. Thank you guys very much for hanging out, and I'll see you next time. We'll do a little ending screen here. Okay, thanks guys very much.